started attacking. Spells were cast from below the surface, strangely aimed towards Gerald, while sharks circled around you all, attacking those on the surface. You managed to battle off the spellcaster, the warrior riding a shark, and what the smaller shark. After defeating the spellcaster, the bigger shark, however, seemed to completely lose interest in all of you and instead started to feed on its smaller species cousin. <laughs> cousin. You, <laughs> you made your way <laughs> over the river. A moment of respite, you kept moving and you could see what looked to be a massive mountain coming through the snowfall towards you and what looked to be the green of trees as you all made camp and we start today's session with is anyone going to take a watch is there anything anyone would like to do before going to bed uh that's going to be pretty keen to keep watch he's still very jittery after dealing with a battle on top of water and sharks so He's probably not quite ready for sleep yet, just yet, so he'll be happy to take the first watch. Mm. Nana can, spend, can take uh... a watch. Can Nana take a watch? This snow. I know I keep asking, but I can see over it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a constant to problem for Nana, you. Nana, like, a little... Can I just have a stool? That's just her watch yeah. stool. It's, it's... It's just Surely. that one scene from the Two Towers where Legolas <laughs> said, "Would you like to find, you? Oh like to find you a box?" <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, look. Uh, yeah. Well, hmm. Okay, maybe maybe Nana won't then. Fine. Stuff yous. <laughs> <laughs> so who's taking first watch? I think Goose. that would be Goosey. Goose is taking first watch. Goose gets comfy by the campfire that you've all set up. You've got your two tents, and there's... You, you can see, as the light is fading, you can definitely see what looks to be the, the line, the edge of a forest ahead of you. And you can definitely see, as the night comes, the snow clears a little bit, and even with the heavy clouds, you can see a massive mountain stretching at the horizon piercing the clouds but the this night is... is quiet you can you can definitely every now and then you can hear what sounds to be like a small critter somewhere in the snow every now and then something flies by don't know if it's bird something else but there's definitely life no evil clouds, evil clouds. <laughs> perception check <laughs> That cloud looks like a skull! That cloud looks like a shark. This is oh, a dear. sea of thieves. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> or, you go to look around, but it's dark. You can't really see past the campfire at this point. <laughs> but you can see to the northwest, there's definitely a light at the bottom of the clouds. Like the light a city would give off. <laughs> That's because no way going tomorrow. Far, far away. Ah, Anyone doing anything? Uh, I lied. I will take second watch because I don't think we have anyone to take second watch. So I'm taking it, boys. Oh, oh snap! Hey. Oh snap! I mean, oh snapple! Really oh snapple! Two hours go by. <laughs> Dust goose. Nothing. You you spend the time, however you wish, but. A few hours later, you wake up Nana, and Nana that your cauldron is still puttering away over the fire that's been maintained. Mm. That's Goose knows how to maintain a fire. I love that. I love that in a goose. <laughs> <laughs> Nana gives it a good stir, just for good measure. Uh, yeah. I imagine she really likes seeing the forest, the little bits of forest that she can see. You know, kind of feels yeah, a little it's... bit homey and yet exotic. It's, it's a bit too dark to properly see, but you know it's there. Well, that's a comforting it's... thought. Yeah, and you can, you, you definitely feel like, also, just listening around, there's definitely the sounds of creatures. You can hear something burrowing under the snow. That's so Was, cute. Is that, like, 
Is it a nocturnal bird? Is it maybe a bat? Something is flying around. You can hear every now and then something in the distance. Animal life definitely more present in this area. Nice. Hmm. Uh, sh should I have rolled anything? If you um, want to. Roll a perception check if you want to. I, I absolutely might. Uh, you know what? Nana's going to do is she's going to um, uh, use use her spoon and spoon? produce a uh, little spoon. mushroom frond, and then oh, I think it would yeah. yeah, and just chill with little mushroom frond, just for like you know part of the watch. Um, they're just chilling, uh, and and doing that, and it's good, and and everything is nice. Mushroom yeah. frond is like. <laughs> um, <laughs> so love it yeah and uh sure i would roll perception just to see oh or not imagine rolling just kidding to see nothing big bad nothing <laughs> 11 there's no you you can definitely tell there are creatures around but staying clear of you all but th That's compared to where you've it. been previously there's a completely different vibe, different ecosystem, completely. Where I like this vibe right now. Having a good vibe here. And shall we assume that Arthur takes last watch, as you don't need as much sleep as everyone else? Uh, no. Arthur oh. is actually he, he just sort of went into a trance, and no one sort of asked him to be on watch this time. So no. he, <clears throat> he, uh, yeah, he just sort of went to bed. Then mm. who would Nana go wake up? Mm. Um. Oh, I don't want to wake anyone up. Let's see. Goose has already had it. Um. Do we need two people or just the one? Uh, or ju well, no, just one, right? Just, 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 just one. one. Like multiple people can take watch at the same time. Uh -huh, okay. There are benefits, but. Uh. Uh. Uh, hmm, uh, may maybe Rudy? But not touch the hands? Rudy <laughs> seems like a good, you know, because, like, everyone's had really hard... Oh, I don't know. I, mean, I don't want to wake anyone up. Rudy does dawn. That's oh, true. Okay. Well, that <laughs> works. That, yeah, maybe Rudy. How do you Just wake up? Just very tentatively, like, if he doesn't want to wake up, she'll take another watch kind of thing, but she'll kind of touch him on the shoulder. Be like, the Rudy, dear... It's a little hard to access Rudy's shoulder because, like, when he sort of gets into his bedroll and everything, he really sort of cocoons his upper body. Like, it's like, he, imagine, like, you know how most people cover their feet and their legs while they're mm. sleeping? Well, Rudy's actually more covered from, like, the waist up. Like, he uh -huh. doesn't, he doesn't In that have... case, she'll probably take her, oh my god, I almost grabbed scissors, not a spoon. Uh, not scissors. <laughs> oh, We're not gonna, no, 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 we're, we're gonna grab this food. We're gonna just gently poke into the cocoon, and I don't know what we'll hit. Probably a head, but like, like, Rudy, oh, would you oh, like to take watch? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, I'll just let me uh detangle myself. I seem to have. Wait, no, that's come on. You're, you're very just... stuck. Dear. You know what? You know what? I'll just, I'll just, and he sort of like sort of half hops out. But as he like hops <laughs> out of the tent, the blanket falls away, and he's like. Ah, okay, much better. Um, and and then he comes out for for the for the last mm. watch. <clears throat> There's still some food warming if you're hungry. Oh, uh, I uh, look, Nana. If it's all the same to you, I think it's best if I don't touch the uh, food. I think we know what happened last time. I you left me in charge of food. I, I think <laughs> I'll just leave it closed. I leave the pot lid on, and it will simmer quietly until breakfast. <laughs> Go. There's a reason I wasn't in the kitchens back where I grew up. There was a reason I was on cleanup <laughs> and uh, other cleanup, but mostly cleanup. Hmm. Nana chuckles. Just, you know, she's like, you didn't think she had let it go, but clearly she has. She just thinks it's funny now. On the day she was, <laughs> but today she's like, it's fine. And she goes to bed. Um, and... I use. Uh, sorry, Joseph. Go ahead. I was just gonna say I use the uh, the time I have um, to just uh, re because I know that we're going to be attempting to speak with this corpse in the morning. I use the time of my watch to set my new spell 
ready. Whatever, whatever, whatever a cleric needs to do to set up a new spell for the day. Well, the the flavoring is up to you. But basically, you mm. just give a prayer. It's like your morning prayers is when you switch out your spell. Mm. Okay, alrighty. And it takes two hours, maybe three, before the sun starts rising. But the dawn is kind of gray, thick clouds, very light snowfall. Mm. But you can feel it through the clouds. You know it's there. It's lighting up ever so carefully. And you start seeing the silhouette of the mountain, the light line of the forest. And you... <laughs> Oh, we oh, can hear you, all you, of you that. Your mic when you're fixing stuff, buddy. Come on. I, I, I actually thought I did, but yeah. And then you all sort of stopped and like. <laughs> 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 you know, it's like it's like I just thought I put the sock on this. Dawn. The warmth of dawn does come too. It's still cold, but a difference. The temperature definitely comes through. Uh, everyone gets a long rest, and uh, those who uh, can change spells daily may do so if they want to. No, I like what I've got, but look, I might regret it later. You never know. <laughs> well, I that, would like to change that's part of spells. Dungeons like and Dragons. 2020 hindsight here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, imagine if I had had that convenient thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Can I change rage to fury? Yeah. Can I, can I, can I be angry? Can, can I be extra angry today? Only to, extra instead of angry. I used to of angry. That normally happens yeah. if you like when you come out of your tent and you like step on a pointed stick or something. And it's the first oh. thing that happens in the morning, and ah. that is what sets off the barbarian for the rest of the day. Hmm. <laughs> the rest of the day is just grumpy. <laughs> yeah, and as morning comes to, what do you all want to do? Roll perception, so I don't stand on any sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you may roll perception. <laughs> All right. Let's see how we go. Please tell me you stand oh, on a stick. It's I four need... again. Oh my god, my dice is four. You see no sticks, so you step okay. out, and you do not step on a stick. There are no sticks. Okay. Because <laughs> everything cool. is frozen. Oh, it's cool, eh? <laughs> Alright, that's because immediately goes over and digs into some breakfast. Don't worry, Goose. I, I didn't touch the pot. I haven't done a thing. It's not burnt, I swear. I, tr I trust you, my friend. I trust you. Good. Oh, Good, because I still don't trust myself with that spoon. <laughs> oh, you, you <laughs> must <laughs> learn to trust the spoon, Rudy. You must learn to trust the spoon. How can you trust the spoon? They've got a curved side. It, you look at one side and everything's all stretched. You look at the other side and everything's all squished. You can't trust spoons. But that is life. You do not know what life will give you. It could be it could be straight and narrow. It could be curved. It could be wacky, wavy. You don't know. You must trust in the spoon. Goose, you didn't hit your head while sleeping, did you? I might have. <laughs> Okay, alright, okay. Uh, you're un unusually uh, you're unusually uh, uh, philosophical this morning. Morning rocks will uh, to the head will do that. Okay, alright, fair enough, fair enough. How are you all? How are you all doing this morning? Oh, good morning, Gerald. Sit down, have some food. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> and you'll trust um... in the spoon as well. Oh, uh... Nana's just kind of listening to this and being like, yeah. Trust in the spoon. Yeah, trust in the spoon. Uh, is, I don't. I'm. Oh, it's too early. No, trust in the spoon, <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Whatever you say, Nana. <laughs> it's like the new motto. Trust in the spoon. In spoon we trust. In spoon we trust. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get that on the shirt. It's, it's if, if we ever like serialize the cold down under the cold down under campaign. It's cold down under subtitle in spoon we trust. In spoon that, we that is trust. That's, <laughs> that's exactly it. Oh, I love it. If you oh, can't put your faith in spoon, it would be the title of the first standalone adventure. <laughs> in spoon we trust. <laughs> the first or, one shot. If it's yeah, like the first one, like yeah. one shot. 
if each character gets their own backstory one shot, that's Nana's backstory episode title. That's mm -hmm. that's Spoon, there you go. I love how chat's just all in Spoon We Trust right yeah, now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we love a good strong curve. That's right. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, it's, it's gone to a hashtag oh. on my chat. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, jump on really jump on Twitter, hashtag and Spoon We Trust. <laughs> I'm changing my title to that. Yes, you are. There we go. <laughs> Arthur um. Orblet. Uh, Arthur Orblet will come out very quietly, uh, but very confident-like, uh, straight to the fire. Uh, he doesn't touch the food straight away. He, he'll he get a hot, hot, hot cup of cocoa first. Um, just sort of listen to what everyone's saying this morning. And uh, sort of goes up to, I'm, I'm guessing it's the, marsh, uh, the marshmallow, the, the mushroom man's make, like, him the food out. Yeah. Mushroom Man would probably be gone. He only stays I... around for an hour. Yeah, oh, I think okay. he's gone. Um, well, so uh, if you do not, you do have a new charge. So you could. Oh, I mean, do you guys want the Mushroom Guy out? He can come you... out. If you want to, or do you want to save him for dinner? When I mean, I him? might save him for dinner. Let's save him for dinner. Save him as our dinner. He was just he's here. He's him? sleepy. He's sleepy. <laughs> um. <laughs> So is Nana sort of handing out the food, or are we getting around? Uh, yeah, Nana's bustling. All right, so I, I kind of take the food from Nana, and I say, thank you, Nana, for this food. It's so uh, gracious and nice and warm. Um, and then as I sort of sit back down, I, I eat it slowly. Just nice and slowly. I, I want to savor the food. That's pretty as much you, it. As you're uh... savoring... Oh. Everybody mark off a ration, because you, uh, you used up your free food. This is true. Oh, yes. As, a, as Ryan, like everyone's me. finishing off their, their food, um, Rudy sort of you know, gets up and, and claps his hand together and goes, Alrighty, who's ready to talk to a corpse? Oh, I forgot that's what we were doing today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nana says that, that actually. Today. Oh, I forgot that's what we were doing today. <laughs> Arthur well, stands up and he sort of points in that direction and goes, I'll keep an eye out over there. And the ghost will look out that way. Wait, wait, you guys don't? I mean, you might only get to see this. I mean, I've seen this a few times, but like, you don't, you don't want to. I can, uh, I can assist you, Rudy. Oh, uh, Do you uh, want you. us to see this? I, are you saying it's entertaining? No, I'm just saying it's you know it. it I just it's a, you know I just thought it was a very serious see, business. You know what? It's like it's okay. No, no, oh, Rudy, right, no, I'll be there no, was... too. I'm very interested. No, uh, no she was not. I thought that comes along, but hasn't leave. Stands at the back of the group. Uh, 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 well, oh, you you guys have your fun, and you know it's corpses. They they attract wolves and and, and many monsters and such. So the the, the not that the ghost is afraid. Uh, <laughs> you know what, Goose? It's probably a really good idea. Thank, thank you, Goose. Thank you. Mm -hmm. At any time. And he just runs off. <laughs> what direction are you watching? Um, probably towards like the woods area uh, that's closest to us, just to make sure nothing's going to come out of there. Yeah. It's to the west, and the edge of the woods still looks like it could be an hour or two away. That's because is going to keep a good eye, make sure nothing creeps up in that hour's time. So, Rudy, you're going to cast Speak with the Dead? I am going to cast Speak with the Dead. Um... And I would <clears throat> like you to uh, describe to us how does Rudy perform the ritual of Speaking with the Dead? Well, um, it's very complicated, uh, very intricate, and it has many, many, many parts to it if you want to do it legit. However, Rudy has to make do with what he's got here. He doesn't have a nice little altar. He doesn't have, you know, candles, nice candles. He doesn't want to use Gerald's candles. Um, but um, <laughs> What's wrong he, with my he, candles? Nana has a box. <laughs> you want it's, it's, box? Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's all right. It's, it's all right. Oh, I got okay. this. I got this. I, I, I've got um, perfectly right. good candles. It's, it's, <laughs> I can hold a torch. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I need to concentrate. I need to concentrate. Sorry, sorry. Just thank you. Thank you. Um, 
uh, so you know he he starts you know you know muttering his prayer and he's he's sort of you know he's sort of like he's holding onto his holy symbol with one hand and he's sort of like he's slowly uh, he he sort of starts at the 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 top of the head the forehead and he just he's slowly with like his hand he just sort of starts drawing down the 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 corpse you know he's like over the over the top of the nose you know over the lips just just down it just starts getting lower and lower and lower you know, and then sort of like rests on the heart and, and then like, all... i hope he washes his hands and then <laughs> like as as he's drawing the hand down these his his fingers are starting to glow you know brighter and brighter and then all of a sudden he just slams the 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 chest and the eyes of the corpse open up and oh they open up and the corpse takes a deep breath <gasps> That's how it's done. This is concerning. Please carry on. <laughs> yeah, and so how many questions do you get? Uh, sorry, just double checking that one. Um, so, up to five questions. The corpse only knows what it knew in life, uh, including the languages it knew. Answers are brief, cryptic, or repetitive. And the corpse is in, under no compulsion to offer truthful answers if we are hostile to it, or it recognizes us as an enemy. Mm -hmm. um, Arthur Orbit just sort of yells out, Can you talk? <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, you are hereby forbidden from further I speech. Say, <laughs> I will say, the spell doesn't specify. It says you can ask, but it doesn't say if it's singular or plural. Oh, true. Oh. Uh, oh. Thank you, Josie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, say, I'm saying that it's open to discussion. Well, is Rudy, uh, the, when Rudy casts the spell, are you locking in so that only you can ask questions or anyone? Well, look, you know, the problem here is the spell wasn't perfect because, again, he doesn't have the, the proper environment and everything. So uh it was very hodgepodge so i would like that to count as a question yeah that feels and great that feels about right as the corpse lies there the eyes glazed over they, they have like it looks like they were black before but they've started going a pale gray and they move but you can't see any pupils but the eyes definitely move towards arthur orblet and it just says, huh? oh, I Arthur think we takes like two steps theory. back and go, what the fuck? I have <laughs> no a question idea or a statement? what they just a said. Statement. <laughs> just, oh, Arthur's just amazed by this. Hmm. This could be a problem, guys. I don't think, did anyone understand that? I, no, I did not say that I did. understand that in the least. Ah, well, that is good oh, because oh, we just so happen to on. have. Hey, yes, you know. <laughs> just Woo. remember. I totally forgot about that. Wait, um, did you guys not remember? <laughs> no, I. Clear, it's. it's, it's probably it feels like I've been like, asleep for a week, oh. Nana. You will have to forgive me. <laughs> um. So. so uh, okay. Uh, no, no need, Rudy. Strong. Don't, don't, don't waste. I know what you're about to do. I, I've got mm. this. Uh, oh. I will cast comprehend languages. Um, I'm assuming we don't have time for a ritual casting. Uh, I'm. I. How, what's the duration of Speak with the Dead? I think it's only ten minutes. Give me a second again. Um, yeah, so ten, seven, ten right. minutes. Yeah, so we won't yeah. have long enough. No. Okay, no, I'll just, I'll just cast it. Um, I'll just cast it and normally then. languages has what limitation? That. So. For the reason you mm. understand the literal meaning of any spoken language that you hear, you also understand any written language that you see. Okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, I can just understand his, his literal understand. words for Wait, now. Just as not Nana, is this gonna make? the dead guy understand us as well or is that gonna still he be under they they understand us okay they yeah. no matter what okay gotcha Alrighty. so what questions were we asking the corpse uh because uh uh because we we don't really know why we were attacked we don't um, have any information on that 
Mm-hmm. And then it says, I, I think we should talk about it and then choose one person to... Quick out of point, as he looks at her, there he goes. Choose one person to ask these questions. Perhaps, Rudy, you should do it since you, uh, you, you started this conversation. <laughs> oh, Arthur yes. sort of puts out his chest and goes, oh, I'll let him have it this time. Yeah, this I mean, this time. Next time you can raise the dead. Don't Arthur, worry. we're not we're not talking to to you know a, a, a local deer. We're talking to a, a corpse, and and just sometimes they require a little bit of subtlety. And then he sort of remembers he just slapped the corpse on the chest as like a hodgepodge <laughs> way of waking it up. He's like, mm-hmm. yeah, subtlety. Um, his head. <laughs> uh, 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 um, uh, you there. Who who do you who do you represent? Uh, who ordered the attack on on us? And hold on, something weird's happening on my screen. Give me two seconds. As that's happening, Ro- uh, Gerald. Arthur. Okay, go ahead. Arthur wants to go up to Rudy and sort of whisper in his ear, "Oxid of his friend or foe." Kind of like puts his hand on his pocket, ready for the like the dagger. Why, uh, Arthur? Arthur, it can't do anything. It can only speak. Yeah, but it might not want to talk Arthur, to us. Arthur, step back, step back, step back. Oh. <laughs> Gerald, you hear as mm-hmm. this creature starts talking, the words are magically translated. You, you, it's you still hear it the way it is speaking, but you know the words, the intention. And you just, the words come through as, mm-hmm. What is this vile tug you speak? It disgusts my ears. Oh, that's pleasant. It's not answering my question. That is not an answer. Wait, wait, just out of and it's under no Nana's obligation. head. Is there, no, you know, fuck it. In Nana's, in Nana's voice. Is there one of, no, we wouldn't know. I was gonna say, is there one of us who's like not specifically attacking it during the battle? But Nana wouldn't know how your freedom spell works, so never mind. But uh, Rudy might. Well, I think I mean, the thing I, is, I, I it's, look... it's it's compul it, it's under compulsion to answer. It's just not under compulsion to answer truthfully. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, I that, will point yeah. out it also only knows languages it knew. Yeah, it only oh, yeah. it only knows what I it knew so in it life. Okay. It doesn't know common. Is and and Gerald in the spell Gerald oh, was cast. Oh, 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 Gerald so, uh, we understand. Gerald's spell doesn't allow Gerald to speak any new language. Yeah. Correct. Well, that's two questions that's... down. Well, um, it did, well, then it wouldn't even thinking. recognize that them as questions because it wouldn't know what we're saying. Well, it's compelled to respond. It would know through the... It, mm. through the spell. It would know it's been asked a question, but it doesn't understand mm. the question. That makes sense to me. Arthur Orwood um, speak hel- Elvish and Halfling. Yeah, I only know Elvish. comic druidic and gnomish. Oh, does this speak druidic? She I, asked well, it. We, we can't know. We can't burn through all of our questions right. asking what languages it speaks. Uh, the scroll I the scroll we had was a scroll of... I mean, we, maybe we it does allow you to speak and understand all oh. languages. Okay, I thought it was the same as my spell, so go ahead and right. use that then. Okay, so yeah. I will use the scroll that I had in my inventory um, to, to essentially be able to communicate with it. I'll just remove that from my inventory. Yeah, you can now understand and be understood by any and all languages. Excellent, alright. Love it. Um, uh, that was a good try, Gerald, but unfortunately, yeah, we I think we will still have to use this um use this this scroll and, and yes I, I i presumed that it would at least understand you but i guess that's not the nature of your spell I'm, uh, yeah th- i think this is what happens when you you ramshackle a spell together in the wild when you don't have the necessary preparations or or so oh. <laughs> uh, uh, this anyway. is not my area so i i leave it to you of course um, and then it just pats him on the shoulder as he's like <laughs> half sobbing <laughs> Um, Rudy reads the scroll. The scroll sort of, I'm assuming it burns up. Also, I don't know how spell scrolls work. It, it, it does. It's, it's more like the ink fades. And it's now just like a blank, brittle piece of parchment. Oh. Rudy puts the parchment back in his bag. Yeah. Um, alrighty. Uh, and asks the same question. So, uh, uh, what, shit, uh, what was the wording? Um, <clears throat> uh, who ordered the attack on us? Okay. 
Okay, uh, I translate for the rest of the party. So he wasn't, they weren't ordered to kill us, they were ordered to delay us. Hmm. Um, that's, that's intriguing in and of itself. Should I ask, does this priestess have a master? Hmm. I, I think we should ask what it looks like. If it looks close to the, the person we are chasing, at least we know... Um, well, we, we killed the priestess. We did, you know. She got eaten by the... She got ate. Oh, she, got she did, uh, yes. Ella was hungry. Ella was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> sort of said defensively. <laughs> Ella was hungry. All right, so they were, so they were sent to slow us down. Um, but they, they didn't mention who, did they? Like, who sent them to slow us down, right? Uh, ordered by my priestess. Oh, by my priestess. Of course, the one that we already <laughs> took out. Um, I assume the priestess was, was attacking us because, uh, you know, it, I, I felt a very similar magic coming from one of our enemies yes. that I myself cast. So. Who does the priestess serve? Uh, Rudy states the same question. Who does the, who does the priestess serve? Well, that's helpful. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, you got one more. We got one more question left. Oh guys. my god. Um. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Arthur sort of talks to Rudy and goes, "Is it Neptune? Who's a Neptune? What's what's gonna call Meta on that one? Yeah. You don't know anything <laughs> about any kind of gods." <laughs> Um, uh, oh, oh, Nana wants to not ask a question to the corpse, but just say, Rudy, do you specifically say Rudy so that the corpse doesn't freaking answer? God, it's okay, Nana. It's okay, Nana. It's like a monkey paw. As long as I hold my pinky finger up and don't curl it, <laughs> we have our last <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, would it be worth asking if we can somehow access the plane of water to get the priestess's body back? Or is that maybe... I think that might be beyond what? our abilities at the moment. Uh, Perhaps beyond our little shark friend's abilities too, but you know. Hmm. I, unfortunately, I don't... I, the spell that I've cast only allows use of... Magically, the use of their vocal cords and their memory. Yes, it's not that even their soul sense. that's imparting in their mm. body, I believe. Well, perhaps we need to know uh, who the god of the sea is, then. I, mm, I'm not sure if that's... Mm. I don't know any gods, I just know cooking. Garlic is a god in itself, though, let me tell you. <laughs> sort of starts mumbling about one of the spaghetti recipes she once made. Mm. So I don't take fuck. Gerald, do you, do you have any other <laughs> theories or questions you think would be in this time the problem is i have too many questions really um uh, i've got more immediate concerns though um oh. i've got two things in mind one i would like to know more about the pallid princess whatever information we can gather on that uh two because I know, obviously, the controlled people thus far have been sent after us. We know have been working for her, mm. whoever she is. Mm. The second thing is if they're slowing us down, what are they trying to stop us from achieving? Okay. And also, what are the forces maybe out there to stop us? This is, this is very true, and I think a rabbit hole that you're starting to go down, Gerald. Um, there could be any think... number of creatures out there. Right now. Yes, yes, Gerald. Yes, yes. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> Lena did say to get to Bora as soon as possible, so perhaps they were trying to stop us. How about I just ask our, un uh, our unfortunate friend here what they know about the Pallet Princess? I like that idea. I forgot about her completely. I was thinking about spaghetti. Arthur Wobbler goes, Nana, can we have spaghetti for dinner tonight? I'm... Absolutely! <laughs> uh, ask, the question, ask the question, Rudy. Ask the question. Rudy shoes them away. Uh, 
They go off and start talking about spaghetti recipes. So. <laughs> um, what do you know about the Pallid Princess? The eyes shift back over towards Rudy. It looks like the eyes have been following all the sounds around, but as soon as you ask it a question with the intent of asking it a question, the eyes go back to you. And you guess the answer. I know. Well, that was unfortunate. And then it just exhales. <sighs> and the the head just ever so slightly just tilts to the side. Arthur all would like Ooh. to come up with his um, dagger and stab it just to make sure. Just because he's... Arthur, <laughs> Arthur, it's dead. It's already Arthur, dead. This, Arthur. This, Arthur. this spell just... doesn't work unless it's dead i know i know but i need to make sure I no, that's a dip it's a different spell i have another spell that can make an undead servant that what? was not the spell that i used hang on what you can bring someone back from the dead uh, i shouldn't have said that um what i meant to say was i can uh, uh i mean i i can make a uh, um uh hey nana about that spaghetti <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was like thinking about that. Um, and but... while you're all doing this, I would like Dusk Goose to roll a perception check as you are keeping an eye out. I am keeping a very watchful eye out with my minus one perception. Perception four. <laughs> no, perception five! <laughs> oh my god! I see everything. Goose is going up in the you're world. Keeping, oh. You are keeping an eye out, but the sight of birds, there's like above the trees, out of nowhere, suddenly just a flock of birds rise from the trees and you just. Wow, they start doing that swirly thing that crow flocks do, where they just like. They just keep circling around in eights, doing the patterns, and you're just mesmerized by this flock of birds in the distance. They are like us. <laughs> um, doesn't geese fly? Not that he's there. Yes, <laughs> goose doesn't fly. Not yet. Goose um, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till it gets to the tent. One day, dust goose will sprout beautiful geese wings and fly away. Oh, that's <laughs> gonna be a that yeah. screaming, screaming death from above as he poops on people. You know, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this really... is, would be like this big too. Yeah, like a giant bird. <laughs> <laughs> but the corpse, the corpse falls limp. Arthur stabs it once for good measure. <laughs> it's half. It's like kind of started to decompose too. That probably like released all sorts of gas and shit nah, in the... man, it's Nah, the it's ice. too cold we're for good. that. Yeah, that's true. That's we're true. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we're. So I guess we're burying it then. Yes, unless you wanted to bring it again. It's. Oh, most it certainly. It is. Not. It is a dead thing. Leave it. Yeah, we will, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I will, I will hastily cover it in snow, uh, just to avoid, uh, potential trackers or wolves, and makes a quick look at Gerald to sort of get him on the same page. Hmm? Wolves? Yeah, wolves. You don't want oh, yes. more wolves, do you, Gerald? Uh, heavens no. Arthur sort of says to Rudy, make sure you wash your hands, mate. That's, uh... I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I've got, and Rudy's going through his bag. He's like, I've got all kinds of lotions, but not, not corpse touching lotions. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, if I if I get a bit of lavender and a little bit of this and that and that, ah, oh, that's close enough. Yeah, yeah. That's what you guys don't know is he actually only has the one oil. Like he doesn't. He's he's. Baking, he's oh, he's baking. just yeah, literally yeah. got the wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah what is the <laughs> one oil? Is it baby oil or is it like? Oh, tell me it's baby oil. I mean, I, I'm not. No, I don't know what this. I don't like. Rudy doesn't squeeze babies for oils. I don't no, know where you're getting this <laughs> from. Oh my god! Um, but he does have a scent. He does have a scent <laughs> oil uh, that supposedly uh, cleanses the hands after. Uh, these these sorts of spells, yes. Look, I this is nothing to do with the game, but I really want to make either an investigation or a perception check just to so Nana knows that they're all the same. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'd say that. You want to call him out on it? Yes. Do I, it. No, I don't even want to call him out. I just want to know okay. and just kind of go. Mm, mm -hmm. 
I did you want me to do it? Insight. You don't want me insight. to do a deception, or? Okay. Yeah, do you do deception? Nana rolls insight, and the higher one wins. Rudy is a plus yeah. five to deception. Get wrecked. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nana. Oh. Is only seven. Nope. <laughs> terrible. That ain't gonna so work. Gonna roll. That ain't gonna work. Oh. <laughs> one day. Hang you on, keep, you gotta you roll. Keep roll. Keep Rudy gotta get a net one. Wait, I rolled. Did it not Wait, come through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come I saw. Through. I saw you roll. Sixteen, but it hasn't I, connected I to. Oh, roll. it didn't. It didn't come through to the uh, dice that's, tray. But I mean, eleven plus five. Eleven plus five. Yeah. Well, that's definitely. Yeah. No. They... I don't know anything Rudy's about hands. No. Yeah, it was sixteen against five, just for everyone at home. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, Rudy's definitely telling the truth. Oh man! <laughs> wow. <laughs> One Got day, so like in the future, so there's like a whole. Oil. One day in the future, there's gonna be like a whole other new campaign. The characters come back for like a little Easter egg surprise. Rudy started an MLM oil company. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy started a pyramid scheme. Oh god! <laughs> He's like, well, all you have to do is buy ten oils from me, and then sell them to your friends, and then they buy ten oils. <laughs> it's fine. We empower boss babes. Oh god. <laughs> yes, girl bosses. All right, shall we <laughs> push on? Uh, I think we need to get on as quickly as possible, seeing as they're trying to slow us down. We should probably not slow ourselves down. Dusk is still preoccupied by the birds. Uh, what? Uh, oh, we're moving? Okay, let's go. What, where's the corpse? Is it time? Uh, Rudy sort of indicates to a small lump of snow. It's not going to move, is it? I stabbed the no, goose. No. It's okay. Okay. I trust your stabbing abilities. Uh, uh, but it doesn't actually... It, it, uh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's a long <laughs> word. <laughs> pack up and go. Yep. Yeah. You pack up camp and you start setting out. And we'll take our first break. First party break for the day here. And we'll uh, take a four or five minute refresher drinks, grab snacks, go to the bathroom if you have to, catch mm -hmm. up with your chats. Yes, I'm gonna go cough my nose out real quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Just put them back in afterwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, Get I some pretty snacks. Sure well. <gasps> snacks. Wait, do I have snacks? No, but I do need to get more water. Oh. oh I don't. I don't have any snacks yet. Uh. I mean, yeah. I've got a, I'll, I'll I've got a few, rais I got a few raisins left. I'll remind chat people that there are community challenges to unlock inspiration points for the I'll players. I'll be back in a second. Mm. Unlocking items through oh. the community oh. challenges on my There you go. <laughs> you did a dab? I did. A dab redemption. I did. I left that one on this time. Oh, nice. You got a. Look at that, Payboy. You got a bonus dab from the DM. Should feel honored. I'll never do it again. <laughs> it was a once in a lifetime happening. The most I'm honored, that's run right. Off real quick as well. Right back. Yes. Much excite. <clears throat> Everyone's having a bit of a chat. I'll have a bit of a chat. How are you all doing? How are you doing, Pable? And anyone else who's still sticking in my chat for the moment? <laughs> oh, you had some Easter stuff? Nice. Yeah, I went uh, I went and had lunch with my mum yesterday, which was lovely, and we came away with uh, chocolate chip hot cross buns, which uh, I'm I'm pretty pleased about, as well as a bunch of chocolate, of course, because nothing says Easter like being overwhelmed by chocolate, right? <laughs> or at least in Australia, that's pretty much it. Like it's Easter, like here's a truckload of chocolate. <laughs> like 
egg eggs. Ooh, the eggiest kind of eggs. Why did I hear bing bong bong? I wonder if that I wonder if that was Denny's computer. Seeing because Denny's running the background sounds. And that sounded like a Windows thing. Ooh, scrambled eggs on salmon. Hello. Nice. Welcome back, Josie. I oh, thank you. I oh, thank you. Everybody doing good? Yep. We were just oh, uh, very good. we were just talking a little bit of Easter. Oh. Yeah. Did someone have a have a good Easter? Yeah, we're just saying. Um, uh, Payboy had a bunch of actual eggs. Uh, we had oh, a bunch of actual, chocolate eggs. Actual egg. Yes, and also actual chocolate chip egg. hot cross buns. Ooh, oh, yum. You so. know, my dad does a thing where he gets hot cross buns and you put them in the oven, right? But you poke one of those, like, Cadbury full, like, like little tiny eggs. You uh, poke them yeah. into the center. Yeah, so yeah. you've got this melted easter egg in the center of your normal you know spiced hot cross bun sort of thing yeah 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 oh my god that's awesome yeah that's a, i need to try that it's really good it's really good i'm probably mm. gonna do it tomorrow morning that would be actually good. i would have like... tried that if i actually could get any of the clearance eggs today oh <laughs> clearance egg <laughs> oh, no, none of the stores are doing clearance eggs like like the what? entirety of Bulworth had completely stripped all their eggs except for a couple of daryl lee licorice eggs no one wants those mm. <laughs> and then uh lindor only had like the bunnies available well the bunnies are pretty good though yeah the lindor bunnies are pretty good, are pretty good. Mm. yeah and and again, I'll just reiterate the um the the chocolate the egg that was on my head still tastes totally fine. Um. Just just FYI. <laughs> oh, <excellent. laughs> like, you just go picking out picking out like chocolate. I mean, I wasn't gonna say anything, but when I when I took off the the onesie and I shook the hood a little bit, chocolate just fell from the oh. hood. Better <laughs> make sure you don't have any oh, chocolate Siri. stains on there or anything. Oh no, I I um no, I'm, the onesie's getting washed. Yeah, the onesie's absolutely getting washed. Sweet kitten. <laughs> I tricked her. I'm not actually streaming, so she wants to be here now. Ah. <laughs> ah, but we Genius. should all see Emily on just, stream. Yeah, she just right. fucking knows. Man. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> she knows when the camera's on. We'll say twisties. Bye. Hell yeah, twisties. Oh, I don't have any <laughs> tiny teddies anymore. I forgot to get more tiny teddies. Nah, licorice is all right, but like I've been done on I wouldn't get licorice. Mm. Oh like no, actually, licorice chocolate things? is like those. Like the, um... I have had chocolate covered licorice. But not in yes, an egg. Um, I feel like that would be too much. Teddy grams. You know, uh, I haven't heard of teddy grams. No. <laughs> Literally just tiny teddies. But they're, they're like teddy they're little cookies about like yay big. Yeah. And you can get like chocolate chip. You can get full chocolate or yeah. even honey yeah, flavored. Yeah. You get like a packet okay. of them of tiny little um, teddy shaped cookies. So keep in mind how tiny teddies taste. And then like basically that's a graham cracker it's not like super sweet but it's like that's pretty sweet ish mm. that's pretty well, like sweet, I'm, yeah. I'm saying like um you know like not with the chocolate chip or you know the <laughs> extra yeah, honey flavor but like teddy. that kind of graham yeah biscuit thing oh, yes Denny. finally i have something to tell people now when they're like i've got a licorice fan in chat for you denny so we've got someone to take care of those chocolate licorice oh, no. eggs for you oh, no. <laughs> pop tarts were something i actually really love pop tarts Pop tarts, I love pop tarts. I've still never had a pop tart. I, I bought one the other week, uh, just like a chocolate and caramel one. I was like, <gasps> oh my god! I we I tried, but it Should we press on? Because uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, you eat them warm. Back. We've had five minutes. No. Mm. Mm. Yep, yeah, uh, good to uh, go. Josie, just a super quick request: Could you move the mic a little bit closer to your mouth, please? Just, just a smidge. Just a smidge. No, oh, don't like that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Fine, I learned better. my lesson. I won't ask again. That is good. <laughs> this is much, yes, thank you. That is better. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR stream went. Fine, next time I'm going to let no one This is me okay. licking all of your ears. No! Oh. <laughs> is, that, is that not what we come here for? No! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't. I don't come here for that. <laughs> I don't. What? I, I mean, no, I do. Right Only from Josie, though. Oh, I feel attacked. You are attacked. Any? Don't lick my ears, then. Man. Literally, right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now. No, but game has officially started. Boom. Back in. You're trekking along. The trees are ahead of you. You can see them. They're coming ever so slowly closer. Arthur Orblet, horse or no horse? I'm go I am gonna go for a horse. Um. What a surprise. Uh -huh. What a horse surprise. What's the horse? Tell us the horse. I... Uh, he, he seems a little bit confused and he sort of remembers back to a day that he, he met this person with a, with a wonderful throw. Uh, like, it was one of the best throws he's ever seen. And not only did he have a throw on top of his head, he had a throw on top of uh, on his chin as well. And he just goes, Throw, bro! Come forth! What? I don't know how to think about it. I don't, I, I don't know how to respond about this. Why would you think about my brother in this way? Um, <laughs> wow. What you get is a normal looking horse, except it's fro. Sure. It's got a fro instead of a mane and a tail. It's just. <laughs> Why does it have a fro in its butt? Why did it it's, just a, it's just a curly, you know, the hair's just got a bit of a curl. Curly to it. ass tail, man. Oh, we say. Literally a curly what ass. Any, what the horse? Horse? <laughs> As you're heading towards the tree line, what's the marching order? Um. We'll be up front. Oh, there oh I don't have my mushroom anymore, by the way. Yeah, I'll be behind Orby. None of us feeling energetic today. I'll be overhead in the middle. Goose will take the rear. <laughs> oh, That's right. right. You're just flying permanently. Oh, now, yeah. I, my, my terrified feet are not touching the ground. All I'm going to say is Rudy is not going to be healing any butt blisters, okay? You have to take care of those yourself. True. Yeah. Saddle sores are I real know. big. I mm know. -hmm. Oh, especially on a who's, broom. Who's where? Does, who's taking up the rear? Goose will take the rear. Yeah, Rudy will be sucking from the last, from the back. That decent? That okay? This is I love acceptable. it. I love mm -hmm. your work. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. How's the real AF? I love how you've confused it. It's that. pretty good. Now that I've sort of got the hang of it, I think. Can you still breathe up there? Uh, I presume so. Uh, otherwise, I would have probably died. Uh, after okay. Here, after I'll hearing catch you this... you die. Oh, God, Goose. Thanks, after Goose. After hearing this, Rudy's like, hang on. Because, like, in the morning, Goose was like a philosophical, like, Confucius. And now Goose is an idiot. And Wisdom's not the same as intelligence, Rudy. There is no in between with Goose. <laughs> it's true. This is very true. Uh. <clears throat> and Nana thinks she'll be funny and calls up, How's the weather up there? Cold. <laughs> and it's definitely cold. Does <laughs> Nana want uh, the usual piggyback ride? No, nah, Nana's walking today. Nana's, Nana's got this. Nana's, Nana's got this. Right. Snow boots on. Get those dips in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She sits like five to them. every one, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't want no deep, bone he deep vein here. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. is, while you're all heading towards the tree line, is anyone doing anything particular is anyone keeping an eye out um i'll be generally yeah. i mean while i'm not doing anything else i'll be keeping an eye out from seeing as i've got a vantage point now um but um if the opportunity does arise where there's a bit of distance between the party members um gerald might just be looking for an opportunity to um fly up to arthur um when he's away from the rest of the party members a bit so he can have a just a, a quick private chat potentially if there's no opportunity to of course he won't he's just looking for it well every, every now and then there's there is opportunity as the horse has to trudge through the snow the others might stop and wait for a little bit of a path to be created mm. but i will say um arthur and Gerald, one of you can either roll perception with advantage, or you can make your own separate rolls. 
Be a separate roles? Um, probably separate roles. Because uh, I don't imagine would be. 13. Uh, also, patrol. Nana's only got little legs Ooh. and she's second, so she's probably holding people up. Let's uh, 17. <laughs> That's okay. Every now and then, Rudy slows his step to like, like half speed to. Yeah. She's like, no, there's, I no roll. there's no eye roll. There's no eye roll. There's no eye roll. It's out of Both Always polite, this swordsman. As you're keeping your eyes open, you're looking around. Arthur, trained in tracking and keeping and keeping a lookout for game. Gerald, with the vantage point. You both realize that to the south of you, there are two shapes moving through the snow, slowly towards you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you... only 120 feet away. Gerald, do you see that? What? Gerald is currently up, up oh, in the sorry. air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Gerald, do you see that? <laughs> Wait, what do you see? What? There, there what, seems what to see? be... There seems to be something behind us, maybe 120 feet away. I can't quite make out the shapes. Yeah, neither can I. Neither can I. Um, and I sort of point in the direction. But there's a couple of them. Do we all see yeah, it? And it seems as, as you start as you start pointing them out, they stop moving and <laughs> disappear. <laughs> oh. Wait, dis oh. Hang on, disappear. You just, they were shapes of white moving across the snow, and as you start shouting and pointing in the direction, <laughs> they seem to just stop. Sounds like fucking Arthur. Mephits for sure. Mephits for sure. Are you sure you saw something? Oh, yes. I don't understand. Yeah, also, sorry, that's Swedish. <laughs> Looking the direction, you can still tell that they are there, but they've stopped mm. moving, and when everyone else looks, it's really hard to tell what mm. Arthur and Gerald are it's, looking at. It, look, they are the white, and they've stopped moving, so it's... Like, I can see where they should be. They're still there. But the, Gerald, they're difficult. Do you want to fly a bit closer? Get a closer look? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> are you Arthur's kidding me? Goes, I don't want to get closer to them by you. myself. We can swap you. You can ride the horse, and I'll go for a flight. You are never touching this broom, Arthur. <laughs> he, he just kind of pats the fro and goes, it's alright. It's okay. You're the only fro I need. Simply because we'll never see you again. <laughs> or uh, Arthur does shift the eyes. <laughs> As a bonus action. <laughs> For Arthur, it's a free action. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, they know we've seen them, so at least they're not going to get an ambush. We may as well just keep moving in our direction. If they're coming yeah. for us, they're coming for us. At least we know they're, they're there now. We'll keep an eye. I'll, uh, I'll try to keep an eye on them as scary. much as possible. I mean, Arthur like, did shout. It depends yeah, how loudly they shouted. Heard us, right? <laughs> they heard us. Almost well, I, heard us. I mean, I'm not, I'm not 120 <laughs> feet away, so he doesn't have to yell that sure. hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so like, could we? Sense, yeah. But they they have heard us though. Mm. They've clearly heard us. So uh, well, they've seen. They've, a, they've at least yeah, recognized that we've recognized them. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, so... Nana's gonna just be like, well, you know, it never hurts to just say hello. If uh, if if they're also traveling, maybe we could be safer. And before anyone can say anything, uh... she just goes, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'll reach them or not, but uh, she's doing it. Hello! Are you friends of the goose? Are you fans? Oh no. Do you want to come get to the ground? Guys, no. Please, no. Ball. No, we've been... Uh, there's there's we're, no movement to be seen. That We're literally trying, trying to be slowed down, down by the on, enemy. Man. We must continue. Guys, if, if they're going to catch up to us, let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving. Alright, then I, I just called. Well, we're anymore. not going to hurt you! I've got food! So, uh, yeah. Arthur sort of kicks his horse. Uh, kicks his fro. <laughs> Don't kick your fro. Yeah, yeah, the the so horse rude. starts moving. The horse, <laughs> horse starts moving forward, going... Trudging. You're moving through the snow. For a while, if you want to. Um, you can make perceptions checks. 
Just here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Definitely keep your eye out there. Although purely for just roll like a die because I like it. Oh baby! Oh, hey. <laughs> oh wow, that came through so quickly then. Like thirteen. Well, minutes not minutes. as oh, good. <laughs> Did I, 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 died, so I got my 1d20 from that test. Everything else has been 4s and 5s. <laughs> yeah, mine was a, a natural 1. I'm looking the opposite direction. Nice. Yeah, no, you, you're, you're all keeping your eyes out in the direction, and you're traveling this direction. Yeah. Hmm. And they 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 were in that direction. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, that's okay. But as you're all traveling, you keep an eye out, you keep looking, and there's a moment where you lose track of them. Mm -hmm. And you can't seem to find them again. Oh, okay. Mm. But that's, you now, that's... you now, it looks like you've only got like half an hour, maybe 20 minutes if you hustle to reach the edge of the forest. Oh, we hustling. I say we uh, hustling. Yeah. We hustling, baby. Every day we we're hustling. hustling. <laughs> Leaving. I almost made a pun there, but I, I'm, 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 I'm I think that's of, it. Oh God! I, I was like, uh, you know, because uh, I we only got one left, right? It was a reference. It was a reference. <laughs> it was a reference, not a pun. <laughs> but it wasn't a proper joke. reference because you changed one of the words. Did I? Uh, yeah. Did it's Do it, Josie. Do it. Shuffle it, hustle it. Do it, Josie. Uh, I'm gonna roll a die. I'm gonna roll a die. And if it gets the eight, press. Can we have an old chat just press? Can I? Can I? Can I? Wait, is that good or bad? Was good for us? No, no, no. I'm gonna use my inspiration to uh, to give you disadvantage on that roll. Wait, I think you can do that. In our favor, obviously. Yeah, that's luck points. That's luck points can do that. Oh, you can't do that with inspiration? Points. No. Because I was going to use well. my inspiration on top of his inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, I, I will say, if you if you forsake your inspiration, I'll yeah. let it slide for now, since it was only halfway to a pun. Uh, it's, it is done. I have okay. forsaken my inspiration if, for, for, oh, for the price God. of a pun. <laughs> Was that worth it? Was that worth it? We have a threat! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Whew. I'm gonna have to prepare the. Thanks, chat. Thing just in case. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have the stat block open. I mean, do you case. though? It'll be fine. But... <laughs> Can that but turn into your... the punishment, Panther? <laughs> It does like a... No, what? it's it's CR is way below one, but be, uh, above one. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't even. Think, I don't even think a level twenty circle of the moon could turn into this thing. Oh circle of the moon. Okay, that's what we're getting. Oh, what is no, this? Cool. What is this monster? <laughs> Something designed to eat. Text. Oh god, I'm terrified now. Well, the circle of the moon druids can only turn up to CR6 anyway. That's like the cap. Yeah. I know. <laughs> but like... What have you done to us? It's fine. It's fine. We have <laughs> avoided this one. <laughs> yeah. You're moving through, heading towards the tree line. And you're starting to move. You're starting to hustle. You're picking up pace. You lost track of whatever these things were. And you can see the tree line coming towards you. And as you are running... Two shapes just hop, burst out of the snow around you, like out of nowhere. These two large creatures, bipedal, um, primate-like with horns. These two yetis are now rushing forward on all fours, straight towards you. You can see the tree line, just a few hundred feet away. And these yetis are, again, maybe just a just hundred feet away. It's like they've just burst and they had to blow their cover to catch up to you all when all of a sudden you just hear and you turn around and you follow something goes by and you look behind you one of the yetis has two arrows in it and you look ahead and you can see a shape standing in the tree line and it, that's waving and then grabbing with a bow shooting 
and just and starts shouting, "This way, this way!" and just starts nice. firing. And uh, one, yep. the, in. the Yetis are still coming towards you. Arthur <laughs> runs his way. Yeah, the... no, Nana has it. sworn in common druidic and gnomish because they scared the fuck out of her. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these, these creatures are big. These creatures are coming towards you. Holy shit! But they're, oh, they're further Why? behind. They are Rudy. further oh, behind. Ah, so tiny! But... Yeah, Rudy uh... yells to for the Goose to grab Nana on the yep. way through. Grab yeah, they're running. rushing towards you. They, they are, every now and then they go down on all fours, then they run on oh, two no. legs, they hop over snow banks, they're coming towards you. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, heck. Oh, oh, heck. I just want to take a time to explain to everyone, this is D&D, &D, and with Ad's group, we always have technical problems. Tentacle problems? I your tentacle, tentacle problems, problems and I'm so concerned. Yeah, look, he's, he's not here. Tentacle. I want to make a fun, okay? No, no, she'll know. She'll know. She'll watch Don't the puns. Do yeah. Don't do it. Chat will like tell her, you. Her pun sense will tingle, and mm -hmm. yeah, chat will absolutely so tell on us. Uh... If she comes do we back need to let her back in? Punish my panther, I'll be like... Uh, I'm waiting for her to come back in. Mm. Okay. But because she was already brought into the meeting, I think she should just be able to automatically yeah. connect. Yeah, she should. Sweet. Yeah, I've I've got people in my chat saying they would tell on you all if you did. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, in a heartbeat, uh, right? Me, me <laughs> uh, I'm on chat. her. She's Please. just restarting. I think just restarting. There we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you are muted, by the way. Now you are not. And now there we go. There we go. There we go. She returned. Welcome back. Almost wait, made it. <laughs> almost. 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 Yeah. Almost. Yep. Almost. Oh almost. Okay, I think you might need so to Where did I lose you? Um, yeah, I was. Down on all fours, jumping over snow drifts and shit. Yeah, and I was. That's uh... what I was just about I'm to say, it. I'm going to use my Pearl of Power to regain my space. Okay, because I was in the middle of talking. I didn't even realize the whole thing was frozen. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> okay. I, well... I kept going for quite a bit. No, kind of funny. <laughs> as they're coming, more arrows come flying, and all of a sudden an axe, a massive axe, comes swirling through the air. What? Oh, and it catches, one of, it catches one of the yetis in the shoulder and with a spray of blood it falls over <laughs> the other one turns <gasps> turns over looks at it, its friend keeps going towards you before it slows down as you can see you keep looking forward backward forward backward out of the tree line next to this archer comes a massive silhouette and it looks at first you're just like what the hell is that and then you see it has a very familiar pale deep blue hue to the skin as you can see even bigger a frost giant with looks to be topless massive hide leg pants big boots it just a big beard and long braided hair you see this it just grabs the top of the trees this thing is massive nearly 15 16 feet tall wow. huge Damn. it comes out from among the trees and you can see in its belt it has like several axes as tall as goose and it <laughs> picks up another one and just no! 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 oh my god <laughs> what? Oh, no. uh, and you can tell she's so into this moment. I know. Yes. Oh, I'm so I into this moment. Like, we're all into it. Heck. Uh... She's still going. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh. Oh. Shit. What's uh, happening? We're being picked off one one by Yeti. Save oh, God. oh no. <laughs> Somebody save us. Not a whole me. Or did you uh, did you mean to hit uh, mute there, bud? Yeah. 
Why do they put the mute button next to the exit <laughs> button? It just right? makes no sense! Oh, I'm just gonna point something out, and I really hope you're not colorblind, but the hang up button is red. It's only a red phone for me. Oh. A red phone, yeah. Well, well, it, it, it it's right <laughs> under Denny, it, it's got the red sort of toy there. I was confused. Mm. I'm, Josie! I'm... Josie! 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 Welcome back. I, I, I don't know what's happening. Everything was going so well. That's right. Okay. So giant right. came out, pulled a new axe. That's what we got. Okay, and what the second axe goes boost. flying, nearly cutting an arm off from the second yeti, who now stops dead in its tracks, turns around, and just goes to grab its friend and starts pulling it away, trying to move, move away, further away from you all. Hmm. How far away are they? Uh, they they were like up to twenty feet away from you. The last one when it just stopped, and it's now trying to get away. How far away and is you it? You can see another now, another like the Yetis are. Hmm. Well, the one that's lying on the ground is like fifty feet away, and the other the one that's turning around is maybe right now thirty feet away. Excellent, uh, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Sure, you want you want to stop to fire? Yeah. On, on, go ahead. Because I can ca I can catch up what? faster. Because I'm just hungry. Yeah. Well, so am I for blood. Oh, <laughs> That's oh a tw this is the twenty. Step with Gerald. Twenty to hit. <laughs> Definitely hit. Oh my god. Um. So this Man, is aimed at the, the one yetis. who is who is trying to run away, like not the one that's on the ground. Uh, so okay. it's twelve force damage. 12 force oh damage, and you, you get it in, in the back of its shoulder of the already damaged arm, and it's it's just falls over to the ground and starts scampering forward, trying to just get away. And the second bolt. Oh god, this is awful. 20 to this hit. This is very awful. Yeah, 20 hits. What happened to the oh, scare? Are you just Gerald. chaotic evil? Uh, 11 force damage. <laughs> what the hell, yeah, Gerald? It, it's it's barely hanging on, but it's still crawling one arm now, just trying to get away. As you can see, the rest of you can see several more figures appearing in the tree line, but they now they just stand there, waiting as you're all coming towards them. And you can see the the smaller person now among them, the one who had the bow, is is just going, just keep coming, come this way. I get to watch that person still. Yeah. And I, I actually make my horse dash as I do that. Yeah, so you're just pushing through, pushing through. Eventually, mm -hmm. you make it as you turn back. The there, There's now one Yeti who's dragging another one away, just this trying to get away. This is terrible. I feel so fucking bad. <laughs> I do, I, too. And I'm not even involved in it. I do not feel bad in the slightest. If they're in range, I'm going to give them another volley. Uh... That depends. Oh if you God. if you use your movement to get away, they are now too far away. Mm. The broom's oh, movement. Oh yeah, I suppose it's pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but as I guess you come I can... closer. Mm. Yeah, that's all right. I don't. I don't want to lose the party, of course. And you guys were yeah, shocked about the party. Might want to lose pushing. you. Every... What the fuck? <laughs> and you guys were shocked about Goose going from philosophy to stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and you're you're surprised about Gerald wanting to take out clear and present danger from from the safety no, at range. No, we're just surprised he did something about it. He usually doesn't take what. <laughs> Ger Gerald runs. <laughs> yeah, I'm in, I'm in the air. I'm in, I'm safe as far as I'm concerned, and I'm gonna blast the danger. <laughs> oh my god. I mean. The rest of us are running, I'm assuming, so Gerald yeah. can do whatever yeah. Gerald wants to do. Yeah, I mean, my, my yeah. The, the broom is faster than your run speed, so... Yeah, but they are all double moving, so... Oh, I, I can double stop. move, yeah. It, I mean, if you want to just hover above and pelt these things to death, I will say sure, but I will say alignment check. <laughs> alignment check? I mean, I, I don't feel that that's out of alignment. Is it evil? What, would, what is your alignment? I'm asking for true your alignment. Neutral. What is your true neutral? I wouldn't say this is true neutral, because they are obviously overpowered, trying to leave, and you are 
pursuing someone who's trying to run away from you in fear. Mm. You're leaving your party to pursue prey who is trying to get away from you. Mm. I'll let them go. As you make it to the tree line, you can see now there's four, five frost giants, all dressed in very, very light clothing. And then there's one looks to be human with a bow and arrow. Can I go this up is... to the bow and arrow guy? Yeah. And I, I want to portray like I'm the leader, Arthur's the leader of the group. <laughs> Um, so he walks up confidently and goes, Hello, thank you for the assist! Even though we didn't need it. No Did Nana hear that? If Did you anyone wanted... hear that? I mean, Arthur, you don't be a dick! <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, I was the best! Ah, the most lovely to meet you! Thank you for the help! <laughs> Welcome, my name is Jonah. <laughs> lovely to meet you, Jonah! Hey. I am Arthur Orblet, and this is the group. <laughs> and really I'm sorry if I interrupted something it's... that you had perfect control over. I do apologize. Please, uh, Jonah, don't don't pay any heed to my our, our uh, sometimes uh, charismatic, charismatically challenged friend here. Um, we very Arthur, much appreciate that, Rudy. <laughs> it's gonna be like, very... in, like eyes. Just I uh, uh, I, I sit down besides Rudy, by the way. We very much appreciate the assist. Uh, obviously, we are, uh, we were definitely in over our head. Thank you. Well, it's it's all good, I believe. <laughs> I saw what your friend there did. Just your sword, Gerald. If if you'd really wanted to, I think you would have been fine. I, it was just a precaution. You looked like you were coming this way. We were just tr trying to be helpful, and uh, we don't like the Yetis uh, coming this close to our borders. It's mm. very appreciated. It was, uh, it was uh, as, as much for you as it was for us to show those, uh, and he spits to those uh, fur backs uh, to stay off. Arthur um. spits just as well in the same spot to try, try and show equalness. Well, that was some fancy uh, work you got there. Nice broom. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's <laughs> come in handy. I bet I would uh, pay a hefty sum if I could have one of those, I, I'll tell you. Mm, no Convenient, doubt. if anything. But uh, then again, uh, I saw you first of all. You were very easy to spot. <laughs> well, that, yes, I'm, I'm not exactly camouflaged. Well, I mean, if you were that, that would be a proper threat. Imagine someone in, who you can't see coming flying towards you. That would be terrifying, but you wouldn't. I guess I wouldn't be terrifying because I wouldn't know. The thought is terrifying, though. I should the stop thinking about it. Well, and uh, the the big giant who had thrown the axe just looks down at at all of you and just. I'll be back, and just starts walking towards where you came from. I like your axes! They're very good, cool! Good, good luck finding it! <laughs> and says, so, so it like gives, gives Arthur a nudge with an elbow and says, That one likes his axes. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur sort of gets excited for a second and goes, uh, Yeah, hang on. Uh, we, we got something else that matter here. <laughs> well, travelers, I. You came from the east, no? You passed the river? Did you come from one of the settlements? You don't look like uh, Icelanders to me. Uh, you no. uh, stick you're out. Quite, you're quite right there. Mm, we do. We do tend to stick out like a sore thumb, especially with the, the crew we have. Um, we're actually on our way to Bora, following directions from uh, from someone we met recently, Lena. Lena. Lena sounds familiar. Uh, but Bora, yeah, you've, uh, you've come to the right place. Uh, speaking of, if you, uh, if you're not in too much of a hurry, uh, just an hour before sunset, we, uh, we head back. 
other ones to interrupt and say, Are you sure you don't know what Laura? And like describes it perfectly from their hair to all the way to her Laura. toes. Just this, uh, Laura. Laura. So it's Laura. Laura. Nobody knows Laura or <laughs> Laura doesn't exist. Stop um... trying to make Laura happen. It's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I make Laura happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> describes it perfectly from the top of her hair down to her toes. Okay, are you sure you don't know her? Who, who are we talking about again? Them. Is this, uh, <laughs> who, who, who are you describing at least? You don't... Lorna. He's, he's a dem... He's a tem... Le I think Le Ben might... Lena! Might <laughs> Lena, Lena, sorry. Lena Midwinter. Lena. Nana smacks uh, him with a spoon and says Ben. the name Midwinter. You're mm. a... Uh, Midwinter, okay. Uh, I don't know Lena, but I know Midwinter. Yes, uh... You, uh... They're not bad people, but uh, show them respect. They'll show you respect. Uh, yeah, you'll uh, you'll have probably have to deal with uh, some of them if you're heading to Bure. Definitely. Uh, yeah, they're you you'll, you'll be fine. But as I said, uh, if you don't have the, too much of a hurry, if if you want to go, I could show you the way how to get to Bure. Uh, but we will be heading there if you wanna. Stick around and then uh, maybe travel with us. We are heading uh, about uh, one hour before sundown. We we head back. I mean, Rudy, it looks around the rest of the group. I, I mean, you say if we're not in a hurry, why are you going to be moving at a much slower pace than than a typical traveler? We'll be moving at a comfortable pace because uh, and you, you can see now all the other frost giants have dispersed. There's just one walking through the snow towards where the axe was thrown. Mm -mm. Mm. And all the is... others have dispersed and disappeared into the woods. Nana's mm. fine with taking it at a slow pace. Nana's actually, she's she's been like, let me down, let me down, let me down, let me down. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and she like goes and like just bleh, hugs a tree. <laughs> she's like, you walk up and hug a tree and it's... It's like, cold. Me... It has like a frozen layer on it, but it's definitely a tree. <gasps> Can I and smell it? It's like is it's, it, it's it like a, a thick, tall pine tree. Man, I would love it. And it smells. It smells uh, of sap. Just thick sap. I would like to take this moment and summon my mushroom boy, and we're both gonna hug this tree. Yeah, and as you do, uh, Jonah raises an eyebrow. Huh. Interesting. And the mushroom that's, goes. That's ah! cool. And then. Ah! <laughs> 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 what, what, what is that thing? Sort of like walks over closer to. to uh, so, kind of like offhandedly, just. Your people, you've arrived, doesn't really care much. Starts. So walking up to the mushroom oh. oh this is my little helper uh back home we used to garden together but now we're going on an adventure uh do you want to introduce yourself and the mushroom goes not yet i'm afraid oh, look at that thing it's so shy oh dear can we just appreciate that this giant is talking to a teeny tiny mushroom like can you it's imagine like... like no well this this is jonah jonah is the same size as oh sorry oh sorry sorry we're okay. probably still about you know he's yeah. he's a still giant pretty full us, size of the mushroom. but uh yeah but yeah well uh, uh turns turn back around where if you're not you if you're not from the islands where where did you all hail from i we don't get a lot of uh how do we say, uh, Outlanders, uh... I assume that you're from the north somewhere, because if you head south, it's just more ice. Nobody goes there. Mm. Uh, I come from the great township of Mulmorin. I'm sure you've heard of it, as I ride in the great fight with the mighty Dire Goose. I'm sure you've heard of it. If not, I can tell you all about it. I've never <laughs> heard of it. You fought a bird. Great. I shoot birds every day. Well done. Uh, not just any bird. <laughs> great mighty bird. I wear it now. Oh. You'll see the, Wait, see the bird right there. It just looks at your outfit. Okay, yeah, I can see that's a big bird. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It was much bigger before. <laughs> Wait. 
What do you mean it wasn't bigger? <laughs> I can show you how much bigger I was. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll I don't know. I will show you just how big it could get. I'm not talking about it. Goose. Goose is going to show you how big it can get. Look at. <laughs> Ooh, the, the battle map is too shy. The battle map is too shy. <laughs> the battle map is gone red in the face. <laughs> if you've got some time, Das Goose will show you how big it can get. <laughs> Just Goose is both orb. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Teddy's over. dead. Teddy's dead. Teddy's dead. I didn't mean to make it my way. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, by the way. <laughs> oh, fuck. My makeup's ruined. <laughs> and all you, are you all from this place, Mul Moran and Mod the Dire Goose? Oh uh, no, 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 I'm no. from Bandoria. I'm from Evans I think I've heard about that one actually. We do get every every now and then we do get a druid traveling through. Oh that's lovely. Hmm. Yes, and what what about the rest of you? Well what are all your names? I, I assume since we're we're going to be spending the day together, I, I assume, and uh, traveling some. I uh, could tell you a bit about the city in advance. Uh, there are some things you might want, wish to know before you enter. Mm. Please tell us. That, mm. well, in introductions first, I think, guys. I'm, 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 Fair. I'm Broody. Uh, I, you know, there's a Dusk Goose and oh. there's Nana and, and Nana Melavora, but they call her Nana, please. She will literally smack you with a spoon Nana. if you don't. Um, there's we've got Gerald oh, and, and Arthur. And, I uh, sort of sort of put my hand on your shoulder and go, "Yes, I am Arthur Orbless the Third. Um, yes, yes, I, Arthur, uh, you, you are Arthur Orbless the Third. <laughs> um, <laughs> as you can see, that we we've been traveling very hard to go to this uh, town. As my friend was just saying, Arthur. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> do you not like my hand, or what? And, and I'm, I'm just like. <laughs> I just like Gerald, tip of the hat, and I, uh, I'm Gerald, pleased to meet you. Uh, uh, anyways, it seems like Rudy wants to have the floor. I, I'll, I'll just give you to mm. Rudy. Yeah. And you see, uh, Jonah has a oh, long so belt weird. hung over his shoulder. <laughs> a, thick, a thick cloak made of white and grey. Looks like it could be wolf fur, but it's really thick. And, and the hood up. And takes the hood down and is still wearing some sort of a cap on his head. And there's a little bit of a blonde hair sticking through, a, a bit of a tanned skin, brown eyes, and says, Well, uh, why don't we go uh, somewhere a little bit comfortable? Uh, we don't need to hang around here right now. And then the, the giant comes back now, having two more axes in its belt, and says, Jonah. Just keep your eyes out. We're going back to work. Okay, everybody, back to work. And you just start hearing like shuffling in the in the forest. Mm. And then you start hearing. Shopping trees. Shopping trees. It does sound like shopping trees. Shopping hmm. trees. Oh, what are they buying? Shopping trees. No, nope, here we go. Oh, godly no! <laughs> oh, I didn't think. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't me. <laughs> Just saying, Jesse. Yeah, voice impressions are spot on. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're oh, it's too late oh for no! Oh, no. Oh, it's too late for flattery. We're, it's we're too doing. Late. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you in the audience who don't know what's going on, uh, Juice Prosa has a punishment panther rule. If we make too many puns, 
we get attacked by the Punishment Panther. And we have two members of our group here that love puns. Yeah, <laughs> uh, cuddly so, Yeah, cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if this is how Nana has to go, this is how Nana has to go, okay? She do I need to make the a way. punishment at the emote next? Mm. Yes. Oh my god, yeah. yes you do. I think, I think we're gonna need a, a rip Nana headstone. Yep. Nah, it's okay. Sure, Girl, sure let's Nana spare the dying, we're fine. You know, I'm no. actually disappointed it wasn't Roji. Just it almost was. It almost was. He struck a bargain. Hmm. I did. <laughs> you did strike a bargain. <laughs> Even my chat is like, it should have been Rochu. <laughs> <laughs> he should be coming in like, I volunteer as tribute! <laughs> <laughs> I almost made one before and I just caught myself as well. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, I'm scared. Ah, oh, sweet freedom now, though. <laughs> this isn't freedom, it just restarts! It's true. I think we get 20? I mean, well, we've, when the panther's already out... <laughs> it doesn't mean another panther can't come. Yes, it does. Yeah. There could be There's infinite panthers! Have you not been to the pa Punishment Panther dimension, Orb? <laughs> Sorry, it's the Punishment the Panther Pantheon. <laughs> <laughs> the Pantheon. The Punish Panther. Pantheon. Oh my god. It's a Pantheon. it's a god panther. It's got its own pantheon. Yeah, yeah. I want all of you to roll initiative. God damn. I can't believe we were finally about to get the fucking Bora and now we're gonna do this. Hey, it's alright, we got we got friends to help us now. Where is it? We've got casualties. We have friends. Body oh, shields. Are they actually going to help us or are they just going to continue chopping trees? Like, yeah, I think they're going to chop trees. They do not see what's going on. We get sucked into the Pantheon dimension. All right? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the Pantheon uh, uh, dimension? Is that... Pantheon? That should. Okay. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Why are you disappointed, man? Because I haven't made a fucking pun at all and I've been oh, this mess. Yeah. It's, I'm uh, happy. I'm terrible. I, I, honestly, you deserve it the most. <laughs> my name used to be. My well, name used to be the Punisher, awesome. so this oh. is no surprise to me. Oh. This is of no surprise. Actually, Arthur accepts the fate and takes it on. Well, as you're talking, all of a sudden, a deep, thick fog swirls around all of you. And as it disperses, all the other people are gone. All the wildlife noises are have disappeared. Oh, no. Oh, I'm scared. No and more friends. Out of the snow, out of the snow, just appearing, bustling, just sort of standing up through the snow. All of a sudden, a feline shape comes. Oh my God, it's you fucking hear, huge. You, you are, you all hear a voice that said, "Well, it was nice snowing you." <laughs> <laughs> This panther are gonna be friends. Are oh, you gonna be friend the panther? I mean, this one. <laughs> Arthur, you're first up. Oh my god. Oh, oh I need the battle music going. <laughs> no, that's oh, all. You need circus music. That's what this deserves. Circus music. Uh, I don't have like, circus music. Pulls out his longbow, and he sort of just sort of goes for him at twenty-five. <clears throat> what, you're not going to try and speak better. animals with it, shoot, Arthur? Shoot, no, you no. <laughs> no, you're not going to try and make you friends it with it? On. Sticks into the, to the hide of this creature. <laughs> Give me look, damage. Look, uh, Arthur, 12. Arthur will, will have to speak in puns to this panther. It's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to do? I do, believe, I do believe you have an extra attack since you hit level 5. I thought that you was can do any two big... attacks per. <clears throat> I'm gonna not gonna say no, so I'm gonna do it. Twenty-eight. No, I, I'm quite sure. Twenty-eight does hit as well. With another ten damage. Nice. Out of nowhere, Arthur just hyper focuses, turns around, and draws his bow and arrow, shoots twice. Both hits square in the shoulder of this 
of this beast that's slowly coming towards you. Is this the most damage you've done all campaign? This, this I think, is the first attack that Arthur has done all campaign. Arthur uses staff. Arthur uses quarter staff, but did he no though? Bow. <laughs> and the creature, as you hit it, the creature looks at the arrows, looks over to you. Well, you should bow before me. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so angry. Best so death. Angry. No, I am, I am pleased beyond. Yes. Cuddly, you know, you and me, you know, we deserve this. Uh, in the best way possible. <laughs> I love this. So I'm much. I'm so glad for us. <laughs> I'm so excited. Orb, come back. You still got the movement the highlights. Action. <laughs> Orb does nothing now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Morale destroyed. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And the the panther is then going to hop skip and jump through the snow up towards just stand in the middle of all of you and it's going to look around and then it's going to quickly with a paw swipe out at the horse that just disappears <laughs> and it says well bye bye horse see ya I love it. Going to try and bite Arthur. <laughs> I don't like puns on a good day. <laughs> Twenty-seven to hit. No, that doesn't <laughs> hit. Yes. Are you. Let's see here. <laughs> If Roji falls off his chair, I think we're done. You take 30 piercing damage as it bites oh you. God. Oh god! It just you into you. Your entire shoulder. Ah, uh, Rudy! Rudy! And it says, well, how are you feline right now? <laughs> well, I'm feline really bad. Really bad. Josie's inflicting in-game damage on you, but this is doing real damage Why to me. I'm going to die of laughter. <laughs> She's cast Josie's hideous <laughs> laughter. Nana, <laughs> you're uh, oh Mushroom is out as well. I just remembered. Mushroom is out as well. Mushroom is out. Yes. Don't step on him. Well, my first, uh, my first action is to (laughs) let everyone know that the mushroom is out and to say, please don't step on my mushroom. He doesn't take up mushroom, so you know you need to get. Um, as you do, as you do, you take eight psychic damage. <laughs> How do I put that in? You, you take eight damage. Eight damage. All right. As you, as you see, it doesn't make up mushroom. It just, just like, like blood starts trickling down Nana from Nana's nose, and you just have a sudden spike of pain in your head. Amazing. Uh, I guess we're gonna summon. Uh, you know, I don't have the stats for this, but we're gonna summon. Uh, four. Oh, eight panthers. <laughs> what? You can summon eight panthers. I would like to summon eight panthers. <laughs> Because I can't, okay? Are oh they punishment panthers? Just like the no. rest? <laughs> Just regular panthers. I provide the punishment. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I don't, yeah. I don't really understand how I'm able to keep such a straight face through the, all this. Like, I, it's... Mm-hmm. You guys are all dying in, in your chairs, and I'm just... 
This is called uh, keeping a straight, straight face. I'm straight sure face? Like Come off it. Guys. Don't oh, give us that crap. We can see you. We can see you. <laughs> what are you saying, Cubby? Oh, I just rolled for their initiative and it was 17. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna write them up. Uh, I just uh, might need Here Roju to look in his book. Now, I got the stats up. Oh, uh, oh, they oh, have sorry. a plus two dexterity, so they do have a plus two. So it's a 19. Oh my god. How you many did you say there were? Uh, there are eight of them. <laughs> what? Okay, shit, and they are medium size. Okay. Uh, yes, because they Everyone... are one quarter. We'll take we'll take our second break here. Quick, <laughs> anyone who needs to refill drink, reset. I'm gonna go run some uh, no, tokens. Yeah. I, oh my I god. Need, I need to get this all no. right. <laughs> because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The quick, refresh your drinks. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> all break. Amazing. All right, all right, all right. Recompose, recompose. <clears throat> oh my I, god, I I'm gonna keep this. that. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh. oh, the puns are real. It's so good. My cheeks hurt. <laughs> My cheeks legit hurt. <sighs> Amazing. I guess I could. Uh, do I want to sure, make another coffee? Are we sure that this is a punishment? I feel like I feel like I'm being rewarded right now. It's a punishment on my face. <laughs> yeah. It's a punishment on my cheekbones. Yeah, my 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 smile muscles are gonna be sore in a moment. You see all this up here is yeah. all sore. Yeah, this, I can already feel it in here. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> and do you no, do you want another coffee? Was the question? Was it? Yeah. Or do I want a hot, do I have any hot chocolate left? I mean, if you've got a hot chocolate, I mean. I would encourage hot chocolate. I do have hot chocolate. Oh. I mean, put on that hot chocolate. I actually am out of water, break. so I'm going to go grab some water. I will be right back, folks. Alrighty, see you soon. I will mute myself because the kettle is going to get a bit loud. So, ah, hello. Um, yes, uh, there is a bit of kettle noise in the background. No, it's okay. Out of ten, how do you think this punishment panther is going? Well, as I was saying to Roju, my cheekbones, or well, my cheek muscles, are very sore right now. <laughs> it's <laughs> ridiculous. So much. <laughs> out, 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 out of ten, I think this is about an eight on oh, eight this. and a half at least. <laughs> Just. I'm just angry. I've taken the most amount of damage, the least amount of uh, punishments. So, oh, I, I think, um, I think in terms of this engagement, I think this is a uh, a warning. Mm -hmm. I believe this is a we're all gonna get KO'd, but we wake up and it was all a dream warning. Uh, look, look, Going? Arthur is terrified right now. He's just <laughs> lost thirty points of damage. He's only got thirty eight, so he's terrified. I mean, I do have a feeling that with uh, Cully and Roju are ultimately going to take the most damage at the end of this. Because oh, even if this does so. end up being a dream, they're taking psychological damage. Is my camera okay? I mean, it's better when you don't tap it. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it, I, was, I was looking at it, it was really fuzzy. So I think it Honestly, was... if you just ditch the, ditch the, the green screen, it, it'll okay. fix most of your it'll fix most of your issues. That's why I stopped using it. It's it. How's everyone feeling? Everyone feeling good? I'm fine. I'm Triggered. making a hot chocolate. Triggered. Look, the panther and I have no beef. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it go. Like it's. Goose is gonna do what he always do. He gonna whack. Um, I have, I have back to, whack. back to Mike in chat saying hello to everybody. They can't come to everybody's hello. chat. Right? Hello. Back to Mike. Back to Mike. Hello. hello. How you doing? Good to see you. For the punishment. Mm -hmm. I got a raid. I got a, ra I got a raid just as the punishment panther came in. So, oh, excellent. Explain what's going on. <laughs> I mean, perfect timing for a raid. Mm -hmm. It really is. 
<laughs> Should I find us some circus music for this battle? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, 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 no, I this don't. is good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> some generic I, royalty free circus music. It, it hurts me as much as it hurts you to do oh, all of this. I'm sure it hurts you yeah, immensely. I'm, I am, I, I feel like we should. Oh, I'm not about talking about killing your characters. I'm talking about the puns. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We know what you said about um. Oh, what was the quote? I return. Exactly. I've got uh, a clip. If, if I know the quote you're thinking of, it's the Gwendolyn, clip. God of the Moon. Yeah, Hello. Yeah, that one. I've Welcome. Got it. Oh, I haven't played the end of. You've uh, never played D and D. Might too, but no one you know wants to play. It. Oh yeah, you well, do. I've been waiting yeah. to see it. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. Um, you I'll can find lots industry. of people online. <laughs> it might be a bit of a mixed bag, but Everybody if you have back. a bit of a look, Everybody if you are ready? keen, uh, there are lots of people online who are looking for groups. Cuddly, where do you want these panthers to be? So yeah. Plus, um, um we do, do actually. How, how we'll do it. Uh, yeah, Josie we'll here do does it. actually I've run some open table tokens, sessions as well. So keep an ear out for that. I love it. Uh, maybe Welcome. just in Enjoy. between the party and the punishment panther so would just be great. Stack... Okay, okay. <laughs> How... Yeah. Describe that is some as interesting. You so many panthers and yet not enough at the same time. <laughs> Could have more. I imagine they appear like from Naruto with the clone no jutsu, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Nana, you summon all of these panthers. All of... of these panthers. So many panthers. Look at all these chickens. Look at all... I was literally about to say. <laughs> <laughs> and Whoa. anything for bon bonus action movement? Um, uh, where am I with my little... Oh, yeah, you know what? I'll go up to the front. I deserve that. Uh, it's crowded. You'd have to oh. go around. All right, that's okay. I'll, c I'll come around so I can maybe get like a swing of... Um, uh, you come over here. You can squeeze in. Yeah, that sounds Hidden good. behind everything. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. Bonus action. Um, bonus action. I'll get the shillelagh out. It's, it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. <clears throat> you you don't think it's two spoon? Out. Oh, I don't know why I bothered rolling because I know it's already getting out. No, I'm not actually hitting with that really. I'm just. I yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> How, how many? <laughs> how many, Josie? Seven. Seven. Thank you. Uh, Solidarity. <laughs> yeah, you can cast Shalele this turn, and then next turn yeah. you can attack with it. Nice. But oh, the I just kind of wanted out. Thorny, whiny, big. Uh, Rudy, you're up. Followed uh, by Gerald. Rudy, Petiti. Rudy has seen Arthur get his shoulder almost, uh, well, his arm almost removed from his shoulder uh, uh, by one single bite, and firmly believes whatever is going on cannot be real. Just he, flat out, like, <laughs> this, 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 it is, it is broken his, his mind. Uh, so he casts Create Water, above okay. his own head to try and wake <laughs> up in this dream. <laughs> uh, so he casts a, a bit of a little amount of water above his head. Uh, well, actually, it's a 30-foot square, so it, it's kind of, kind of an overall. <laughs> it's oh, not the snow! Gonna wake all of us up. Drops this cube of water, or this, this mass of water, on himself <laughs> and anyone who's close to him. Uh, he just... He no. just he, want, he wants you? to wake up. He doesn't know where the, what's going on. Panthers hate water. Well, everything is drenched in water. And the panther says, I don't know what you're trying to do. We've already wet each other. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Rudy goes, yep. Yep, it's my worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> bonus action movement. Uh, bonus action, the sudden realization that this might not be a dream and Arthur is about to die. <gasps> He's made a mistake. Um, and then movement. Uh, he... he sidles up closer to Arthur, if that's possible. Just sort of shuffles uh... in. Yeah. Yeah, shuffles behind him. Yeah. He goes, Arthur, I know I just poured 
like a gallon of water into the like, gaping. <laughs> I'll fix this up, buddy. Uh, oh, it, was it salt water? Uh oh. That uh, mm, it, uh, mate, you, uh, you're supposed to be out. That's all. It stings. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I, I imagine it stings. Is that bone? That's bone. Don't tell me it's bone. Don't tell me it's bone. It's also pointing the wrong way, Arthur. This is not a good wound. This, this is Cheryl. This is Rudy, Rudy yes. you need to shut up. Cheryl, <laughs> go. Uh, well, first things first, I take to the skies. <laughs> How far up do you want to go? Um, I would like to go. I'm gonna go 60 feet up. Uh, would an 18 hit you as you take an attack of opportunity? Oh, am I in melee range of it? Yes. <clears throat> ah, well, in that case, that is not what I'm gonna do. Wait, where where am I? I thought I was I thought I was back from the panther. I just pointed. Your diagonal in its. Oh, okay, right, because it's because it's giant. All right, got you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, fair, fair, fair. It's a big boy. Uh, you need big pats. Hmm. Big pats. The biggest pats. Um, the biggest of belly rubs. Maybe if you be if you rub its belly, you might be kind to you. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna. Do you want to um, <laughs> No, I'm gonna use my action to disengage and fly that. Uh, how far up? Uh, well, I guess the boom has a movement of 50, so I guess the... Yep. Going 50. As far as I can. Up. Yep. Yeah, this... Let's see. We're just adjusting things. <laughs> whoop, whoop. That's the one. There we go. That's 60, You're going straight up 60, that's uh, high in the air, so we'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Sure is. You're... I don't know how high it can jump. <laughs> <Bonk>. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> wow. <God>. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, bonus action. I, I must go, my up. people need me. <laughs> <laughs> Anything for bonus action? Um, you know what? Just for the hell of it, it's like the only thing I can do as a bonus action. I could throw a dagger, I think, right? Oh no, that's dual weapon. No, never mind. I don't do anything. Okay. I can't do anything. Goose. All right. Goose, you're up. Goose would like to move around to wherever he can hit the panther. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, we'd like to not get Not that we his... can see it, but yeah. Not that we can really see uh, it at the moment. <laughs> there is we go. that better? Wait, hold on. Yeah. Let me just... <laughs> turn everything around. Uh, but he would yeah, like go to ahead, go please. into a rage, frenzy, and attack. Fren frenzy rage as well. Like, go for it. Frenzy you have two rage. attacks. Reckless Excellent. or not reckless? Reckless. He's going all in. Oh, God. Oh, no. Pay no attention one? to that. That's for me. So you get an advantage, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you attack twice and you uh, take the higher. Oof. Well, so be it's 17. Still 17. 17 does hit. So you deal uh, 14 damage plus 2 because you're raging. 16 points of damage. Excellent. Uh, second attack. Second attack. I've lost my... This one's with advantage as well? Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, that one's 23 anyways. Because you're reckless. But you might get a crit. Yeah, you might get a crit. <laughs> nope, we got 23. The opposite of a crit. Okay, so you do a total <laughs> of 7 plus 16 points of damage. 23, my brain says. Yes. Please. Uh, So you run up and you strike once, twice into this into this panther with your axe your friends are you're going mad with rage eyes bloodshot as you hit it the panther turns around and says aren't you even gonna ask me my name this makes a good arthur here go mm. 
<laughs> this, this, I don't want, it is truly a hard battle for me. Just, just, you know. um, you've been the most effective in combat you've ever been. How is this a hard battle for you? The puns are powering you, don't you understand? Arthur Orblet, uh heals himself in, in the fact that he could be killed at any moment. He uses cure, you, cure wounds on himself. <laughs> Six. What? It's yeah. not. It's but your cleric is right behind you. What? You don't trust Rudy to? Not that he doesn't trust Rudy. He create another thunderstorm up. Us. He is just that <laughs> low on health. <laughs> he is literally terrified. Yeah. Yeah. Anything for a bonus action? Anything for uh, bonus action or movement? In Elvis, she tells it to. No, no, I'm not gonna go there. Um, <laughs> I was gonna try and throw a pun out of it, but an Elvis. Uh, no, no, he's just gonna stay <laughs> silent and just. Yep. Yeah, uh, no. it's all the Panthers' turn. Ooh. So. Oh yeah, Panthers. nineteen, baby. Yeah, um... all the eight Panthers, and they're all within range to attack if you want. Yes. You know what? Yes. Every they single They have bite Panther. attacks and claw attacks. They can do only one attack. Four of them are gonna bite, and four of them are gonna claw, just because I don't okay. know what they do, so, but they, they, all have, it. They, they all have plus four, mm -hmm. so you roll the eight d20s. <laughs> <laughs> can you just line up eight this is d20s? Just, this is just a raven TikTok I sent earlier today. <laughs> exactly! Yeah. It is, totally is. I don't know if I can roll more than one at a time, but fuck it. Yeah, you, you can. Be able if you go just, to... just do like uh, a custom roll. Right click. I'll, I'll... Yeah, so you got six more. I'll just roll one by one. Fuck it. We're okay. doing it. Fourteen. Uh. So we got. Wait, we got a thirteen, a four, a fourteen. Uh, I can't see that number. That's a three. Three. <clears throat> you rolled four. Okay. I rolled four. We're doing this, baby. <laughs> I don't know what that is. A 16, maybe? 16, yep. Yeah. A 13. Uh, I think this is 7. A 1. Yeah, I love that Panther. <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby. Last one. And an 8. Last one. And an yeah. 8. And they're all uh, plus so 4, right? Half of them hit. Half of them two hit, bites, yeah. Two bites and two claws. All right. Nice. So here's what I want you to do. I want yes. you to roll 2d6 and 2d4, and then it's an extra 8 damage on top of all of that. Okay. That's 1d6. That's another d6. Wow, Panthers. Uh, wow, and 1d4. 1. Love that for me. And a 3. Okay, plus... Eight, so three, six, nine, ten, eighteen. Eighteen points of damage. That's not bad. And all of these smaller cats Toes. starts going at it. <laughs> uh, I need to do some brain math. <laughs> and <laughs> they all start slashing, biting, clawing at this big creature that has appeared in the shape mm -hmm. of a panther. And they all start harrowing it, going at it. It's a whole roll and then one of the one of the panthers it goes out to bite it misses and the punishment panther says what cat got your tongue <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it is now punishment panther's turn okay okay oh my god. okay and i'm gonna roll a die to see who it goes for it's, it's gonna be me it should go for me. The, the die has <laughs> six sides, and all of them say Cuddly Raptor. <laughs> it is Arthur again. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 See you in the afterlife. I got <laughs> you, I got that, you. Unless it crits already. you, in which case you are actually dead. 21 to hit with its claw. Yes. Yeah, uh, and, uh, 
How much hit points do you have left? Just so I know. How many do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, so it reaches out with a claw, and it goes, goes straight through Arthur, and just <gasps> gasp, and it just looks like I missed as Arthur turns into vapor and disappears. <laughs> what? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Arthur, you appear, you appear exactly where you are, but you're at one hit point. You have no injuries, but you're just racked with pain in your entire body, and everyone else is just standing completely still, drooling. And Jonah is just like, "What is happening? What? The, what's going on right now?" <laughs> <laughs> All I say. This is amazing. Oh my god! Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> and it is then, with its uh, bite attack, going to go at one of the panthers. Amazing. Uh, it hits, and panthers' HP are 13 each. Yes, I got I'm going you. To see, uh, yes, so this panther just has one panther left in it. So you only got seven panthers left. This panther has one. Pa okay. Yeah, no, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. I was like, Thank you, panther? Has one panther? I'm sorry. What? What? And then Nana, it's your turn. Ah. <laughs> uh, also, Gundam well, and Payboy are also. Honestly. And of course, Cuddly. Thank you for the inspiration. YOLO. Um. <laughs> Nana. Contri contributions. Would first. I do have a question though. This is for future reference as well. The thorn whip, does that come out of the spoon or is that a separate weapon? It comes out of the ground. You choose a point oh, where it yeah, comes yeah, from. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um we won't do that. We won't do that. Not right now. Uh Nana <laughs> sees her one panther get probably vaporized by a paw or Turns something. Turns into pixie dust. <laughs> Pixie dust. I love it. And she said, oh, you don't look like a panther to me. You look like a cheetah. And takes damage. Um, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you take six points of psychic damage. That's six? Oh, okay. That's, that's fine. Um, and then boops it on the nose with a, um, a spoon. A, 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 yes. a shillelagh. Shillelagh. Yeah, attack roll with your shillelagh. With my shillelagh. Um, 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 there you are. Please let me roll you. Oh. <laughs> 23. What happens? 23 definitely hits. Roll damage. Spoon. One, plus two. Okay. Boop. So it's an eight damage. Eight points of damage. In Spoon We Trust. And she says, <laughs> you scoop it, we trust. scoop it rather farly with your thorny and large spoon just boop on the nose. Oh, and she says, don't hit my friends. And then like it was harder than she meant to. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> and the panther just sighs and says, oh, what a thorn in my side. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep. Uh, Rudy has just seen Orb literally turn to mist in front of him. Uh, he yep. evaporated. One... Yep. Uh, so he now absolutely knows that this is unreal. Um, his mind is broken, and he is going to. Sorry, I was a little distracted. Um, he is going to. You're over here, by the way, behind. Yeah, behind the the column of hot air that Gerald is leaving in his wake. Um, <laughs> uh, he's going to. You know what? You know what? He wants the Panther to win. He's going to cast Bless on the Punishment Panther. What? Sure. Sure. 
Uh, <laughs> so essentially, I cast bless. Uh, I, I bless. Oh, up to three yep. creatures. Uh, up to. All right, just the punishment panther. Um, whenever it makes an attack roll uh, or a saving roll, target can roll a d4 and add that number. Oh, no. I've, I've buffed the punishment panther. No. Um, why? Why would you do this? He's lost his mind. He lost his mind and his willpower. Uh, and Gerald, it's your turn. Oh, no rebuttal. <laughs> Panther. Wow. Okay. Fine. I know he's not. Nope. Okay. Um. All right then. Uh. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm going to. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm. I, I, I need to. I, I need to give it some. Give it a little bit of a boop. So I'm gonna scorching ray it. Ah, oh, here I thought it was me Eldritch Blast. Not this time. I'm wow. shook it. So yeah, I know. I'm I shook know. it. It's a terrible roll. The first beam is only twelve to hit. Twelve will not hit. Yeah, I didn't think so. It um, bounces off. Uh, beam number two is even worse. That's a one. This is uh, not looking it good. Like your Eldritch Blast doesn't have any effect on an Eldritch. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a scorching ray. <laughs> I, I never wanted to punch a thing in the face. Uh, does 13 hit? Uh, no. It does oh not. my god. And none of my beams gonna hit? Is that, no. How many was that? That's three. Oh my god, I've only got one more. Scorching ray? More like scorching nay. <laughs> does a 14 hit? <laughs> nope. <laughs> All of the miss. Oh I have never wanted to punch a panther so much. <laughs> Are you not me looking up big types of cats? So I can... <laughs> <laughs> not me. Uh, 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 you know, I'm gonna go maybe another ten feet up, just so I'm at a clean sixty feet up. Okay, sure. Where's the thing? I don't know how they're going to even hit you from that high. Yeah, oh, I, I have no doubt that it's going to be able to. You're you're too high above now. I don't even. <laughs> you're out of the frame, friend. <laughs> you're done. Uh, if only I had been blessed. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Alrighty, well, he's gonna do the same thing as he did before. Whack! Yeah. Go for whack. Are you reckless or not reckless? Reckless. Reckless whack! And he ain't having any of this! Uh, 19 does hit. Roll again to see if you get a crit. Excellent! And I do believe if you right click the roll, you should be able to click roll with advantage. Yeah, yeah you yeah. should be able to. 19, however, does hit for 14 points of damage. Thanks. Good stuff. Uh, and no, right click is just coming up with like my usual options. Okay, then I don't. Right click be, comes up with me with advantage and disadvantage. Yeah. I'm not getting any of that. We'll have a look at it later, but yeah. roll again. Right. You have. Because you are frenzy raged, you do have the two more attacks I this do. turn. Many much attacks. 10 is not a hit. But 18. Advantage. That'll hit. He does hit another 14 points of damage. Nice. And final attack. <clears throat> another one? Yeah, because you add, while you are frenzy rate, you can attack once with your bonus action. Oh right, yeah. Is that one frenzied as well? It's reckless as well, yes. Yes! Reckless applies to all your attacks for the turn. Excellent. Oh, However, also, like, my the, last, life choices. the last attack misses. You go, you hack into it once, twice, and the third time it skits to the side. And I don't have a pun prepared for that. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> There's a point <laughs> it it is uh, pointed. Uh, huh. oh, oh, God. <laughs> no, I got one. Okay. Oh. I thought it was the great axe, but apparently it's only a good axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh shit. 
Oh, Daskin's gonna get bad at that. Oh, I, I approve. I think the panther just messed with Arthur, the honk. Arthur, <laughs> no longer in combat. You messed with the honk, it's, you get the bonk! <laughs> it is the panther's turn. You got seven panthers left on the map. Oh, yeah! That's right. My Go, panthers. panther friends! Um, may I ask? Do bite and claw do like the same damage, pretty much? No, bite does do a d6 and the claw do d4. Okay. Well, three of them are gonna claw and four of them are gonna bite. Because uh, one of it. the clawed ones poofed. Um, yep. Which is, uh, what we're gonna do is do the same thing as before, cause uh... Cause you know we are! And let's do the bites first. <laughs> Yep, uh, these will be uh, all bites. Everything. Yep. So, I think That's... none of them hit yep. so far. Uh, the first one did the hit first one because it's a Oh, okay. 18. Beautiful. So that's a D6. Like a D6, baby. Mm -hmm. um, so three <laughs> plus, plus four? Two. So seven? No, plus two. Oh, sorry. Just kidding. It's a five. I know math. <laughs> It was my yeah, strongest and I thing. I do believe you have one, two, three, four, five. You had two more attacks, two more claws. Yes, I do. Yes, sorry. I, I, uh, claws, I just did the um. Members. That's a miss. I did the. Uh, it's a miss. Oh wait, that's a miss. Do I have three? No. I don't think I did the. Well, you got one more. One more. That's a ten. I think it's still a miss. It's still a miss. Yeah, Only one of them misses. hits. And it gets it with a bite. Oh. Um, everyone else, they're trying, but it's just the hide is too tough. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. They're trying their best. They're trying their best. And I'm proud of them. I want them to know that. That's like, yeah. And, and the, the punishment panther says, I've been told them all. I've got very thick skin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> amazing. This is amazing. It is now the punishment panther's turn, and it is oh, hashtag bless. Let's go. Hashtag bless. Hashtag bless. Hashtag bless. Oh god. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks. I it hate is going it. Going to go for the last. First off, the last lovely panther. Uh, natural okay. twenty. So we're gonna Ooh. immediately just poof that one. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Uh. And yeah. Then... I love that. Yeah, because it was going to do uh, a 68 plus a 7. Yeah, yeah no, seven. that's that's poofed. That's for sure poofed. Just assume anything that's hit is poofed. And the second will be against all this this stack of panthers. And <laughs> it panthers is a 21 yes. to hit. Uh, I'm sure it hits. I'm so sure it and hits. I don't have the stats up, but is... yes. The Panthers themselves have 13 hit points, and I just did, uh, I believe, uh, 38 points. So this yeah, one no, only has, there's only one Panther left Okay, here. we got five Panthers. Ooh. That's okay. I love this for me. Well, th they are at least soaking up the hits and the damage. It's true. true. It's true. Nana, your go. My go. We're gonna hit it with a spoon again. Um, because... Because Orb has poofed into God knows where, Ozzy's gone mad, and just blessed this panther, and I don't know what's going on, but I'm kind of <laughs> liking it. Like, kind of having fun. Uh, can't Despite really. The many just like, damage. there's there's this conflicting feeling in Nana that like she's never quite had so much fun during a battle, but she's not sure why. Um, <laughs> so, Nana. Uh, do I want to keep doing I absolutely do want to keep doing this. Um, we're going to hit it, and we're going to say, uh, uh, well, let's see if it hits first, actually. Um, if it's a perfect hit. <laughs> it's, it's not going to hit. Uh, oh, oh, no. oh. <laughs> uh, it just misses. 14. Yeah, no, okay. Just misses. Just kidding. You sw swing out with your shillelagh, but it hops to the side. And uh, and she says, Oh, I clock. swung two spoon. Please tell me how much I take. <laughs> God damn it. 
<laughs> five points okay. of psychic damage. What are you at I, now? I guess. I Nine. guess. I guess. <laughs> Got two suicidal it? party members now. All right. <laughs> Rudy, it's your turn. Well, I think Ned has got a full on nosebleed now. <laughs> <laughs> Just laughing, dying. <laughs> she's like, she, she's gone mad too. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, dear. God. Um, so Rudy, uh, to continue his spout of madness, because the puns have sent him insane, mm. uh, cast Shield of Faith on the Punishment Panther. Why? <laughs> Amazing. Why? I, do I do believe that drops the bless, though. Ugh. Because they are both concentration spells. Hey. <laughs> Just try and fight it. <laughs> This whole. Just try and do something and attack it! Yeah, what are you gonna do? Roll so, over? Die? Feed yourself? Uh, cram yourself into its mouth? <laughs> What's I gonna mean, happen when it's just you and the are you gonna Are you gonna keep Bless or are you switching to the Shield of Faith? Uh, nah, just keep Bless up. Um, okay. And, uh. Weep. Yeah, mm. Rudy, Rudy withholds Tears. his action. He doesn't do anything. Just stands Tears. there. He just stands there. He, he's holding his hands at the, the evaporated air that used to be Arthur <clears throat> Orbler. Gerald, you're oh, off. Goose, you're next. He was so moist. Mm. He's more moist now. <laughs> so... No, he's more moist now. Oh, moist. Oh, my God. Mist. Oh. <laughs> um... Mm. So how high are you up in the air now? Because it looks like 60, 60 feet. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think there's. I don't think there's anywhere I could safely place a fireball. Is there? Uh, nope. No. Nope. Is there a way that I could get the panther and just Rudy? In in the fireball. Yeah. Well, you would get. You will get some of Nana's summoned panthers as well. Mm, Probably an acceptable I don't know. risk. Though, that being yeah? useful. <laughs> <laughs> the um. Uh, nah, I'll just um, I'll, I'll just give it, I'll just give it a, you know, Gerald special. Give it the old one-two Eldritch blast. Oh God, I love that one. It's my favorite one. You know, I'm really not rolling I'm well though. Eleven's it. gonna miss. That's First one misses. Every time. Second one though is a crit, so it's a natural twenty. Oh, yeah. How much damage do we get from that one? Okay, okay. Uh, that's a total of uh, seventeen force damage. So as you shoot, the first one misses, and the punishment panther grins like the Cheshire cat. The second one hits it straight in the face. <laughs> And it frowns. <laughs> Wipe that smile oh, on the face. Boom. And it says, it says, I guess I'll just do like the trees and leave. But if you're not careful, I hope you're hungry. Because there's s'mores where that came from. As it turns into <laughs> 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 Amazing. And I want to be clear, my mushroom boy has done nothing this whole time. He was there and all he's doing is fucking laughing. He yeah. needs to <laughs> like in the background you and all that return. Is, like... You all return exactly where you were. Oof. And the the summoned panthers, they are nowhere oh. to be seen. You're all standing where you were. And I'll throw a bullet line now. You're, you're looking around, and, and Arthur is standing there catatonic, and Jonah comes running up as soon as y'all gasp to. He says, What, what happened? We, I. And Nana goes, Was it I, something I, I said? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Ooh. Where'd it go? Where is it? What? Well, simultaneously, and as you blink, the moment. As you blink and take a few moments. You take a few moments and a few deep, deep breaths, you look around, and. I want everybody to roll a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Here we go! Here we go! Oh, natural 20 for a 23. Oh, 13. Nice. 
98. Okay, has everybody rolled? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rudy and Gerald, <laughs> you can barely remember, but you can remember what just had transpired. The rest of you can't remember anything. You were talking to Jonah, and then you're here. I thought all but once a corner sort of lean against Rudy and go. Oh, uh, Rudy is like going, Arthur, Arthur, Ow. he's like, he's like shaking. He's like, you all right? You all right? You okay, no, Arthur? No, no, Wait, help. You turned to, you turned to. Wait, you don't look so good. Help. Wait, you. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, he really like, Horace, like sort of smacks you a bit. He's like, but you, you were missed. You, there's the panther in the. Oh, so oh. so only, only me and, and Rudy Arthur, remembers you, yeah, the panther. For, for, right. for Arthur, for you, it's like you were just standing here talking, and all of a sudden you just feel just racking pain, drained, completely drained, pale, and like anemic. You just feel so weak out of nowhere. Right. I'll be like, oh, we're free. What the devil was that? There was. And Rudy, what, what came about? over you? You went mad. I, what's and happening? Nana's, what's Nana's nose is still just gushing blood. I, oh. I thought, I thought it, I don't, oh. I don't know. I thought it was a dream. I, I, I thought it was like a nightmare. And I, I just. I, I, I just want to clarify. We do have twenty more points before we get that all again, right? Rudy. Yes. Okay. There's now twenty points on that. <laughs> oh. the, the puns, Gerald. The puns. I, I. I can't. It's my worst nightmare. I can't stand them. I, I well, why didn't you fight against them rather than encouraging them and making it harder for us to survive? We could have I died in there. I, we could have but, died in there, Rudy. But, but it was a nightmare. I could have we died were... in there. And he's but like, he's nightmare. shaking you. <laughs> like, why am I mad? <laughs> yeah, still there. Why am I mad? <laughs> Goose is just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So Nana's gushing blood from her nose. Uh, Orb is like dying, but doesn't know why. This yeah. is fantastic. We gotta do this more often, guys. <laughs> Gerald and Rudy are the only ones who actually what? like remember I mean, any I mean, of it. You're, you're, yeah. You're, what do you mean you do this more often? Like, <laughs> the more time that goes, it's like you can retain the sensation, but it's getting foggy. Like the memories feel yeah. old. Yeah. But you can still right. remember, like, kind of. What transpired? Wait, Nana, uh, your I, nose. It's it's bleeding. Oh, Wait, I, 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 I nose. Um. Shut <laughs> up, fuck's sake. It just immediately rubs one out. Yeah, nice. Denny. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably heal myself, though. Uh, but <sighs> Arthur isn't looking too well. Maybe you should look after him. Wait. He looks just somehow very off. Uh, Arthur, but uh, you're, you're not missed, you so Jonah, Jonah, Jonah breaks in and says, oh, We should uh, definitely get all of you uh, to, to our camp over there. Yes, let's let's move. Let's not. Uh, oh, oh, yes, let's do that. Yes. Uh, as, as we move on over, Rudy will heal. He, he, like, after a good shake session with, with Gerald, he's, he's sort of. He's aware he's back where he's supposed to be, and he, he'll cast a few uh, cure wounds for both. Um, and. Does that cure everything? As your frenzy, no. as your frenzy rage ends, you do take one point of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, um, I'm gonna put that back on. Conditions? Yeah, yeah conditions. Yeah, it should be yeah. conditions. God, I'm proud of myself. So that one, so essentially that one's for Cuddly Raptor. Oh, like that, a, should be, that should totally be for Arthur 19. though. Look at that. 19, that's beautiful. You sure? Cause that I don't one's, need that. That one's for Arthur. Oh, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Twenty. Nineteen. Arthur gets He's twenty-eight. Thank Perfect. You. I'm full health. Wait, <laughs> how are you guys so high health? Am I like not adding health on when I should be? I have got, twenty-eight points. I've got thirty-three uh, max. Oh, okay. No, it's, yeah, it's, 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 I'm at no max took damage. <laughs> Oh, I, I took no, damage. No, no, I know I did it to I went, myself. I went I down to 26. Like wondering from other... No, I did all that damage to myself. Just did, yeah. That was all self-imposed. That was yeah. all self-imposed. Self it was this, this like feeling that it just couldn't stop herself. Like, she enjoys the nice pun now and then, but it was this feeling that, like she had to and she didn't know where it was coming from. I just... I just don't know. 
Those it was crazy. Like, like, the cat through. was like making her. Using all your mad digs, <laughs> taking care of each other. Dasku is starting to get winded. And uh, you're all getting through. <laughs> and you enter, the forest opens up to a large camp. And you can see what looks to be like a makeshift shelter. There's uh, like two walls, like an L shape with a roof over it. And just outside, there's a fire pit going. And all around, you've got... Like, you, you can see people working. There's, like, maybe a dozen people here. Six, seven of them look to be giants, and they're just chopping down trees. And it's... And it's... It looks kind of awkward, because it's not really... They don't go chop, chop timber. It's more like one holds the entire tree while the other one chops. And then they <gasps> together just lift it off and put it down. <laughs> oh. Nice. Awesome. Has Nana seen yeah, giants? Yeah, and then they move, they move the big trees, they move the big trees over to an area where you can see it looks to be like, uh, smaller humanoids. But they all look to be like either human or orc or some, like, that size. They're all about, like, five and a half to six feet tall. And with smaller axes and hatchets, they're just cleaning branches off these giant logs. And yeah, Nana, Nana has seen giants before. Okay, but, but like, just this yeah. is frost giants. This is the second time. Lena was the first frost giant you'd probably. Yeah, see. yeah, cool. Well, she's just enjoying seeing them work, I guess. Uh, it's kind of just cool. It's fun. Uh, yeah, Jaskus would be don't more excited about this. Gestures as like there are benches around this fire as well. Some are under uh, a roof. Some are out. But there's definitely room to just sit down and have a moment. Hmm. Jonas says, yes. uh, make, feel free to make yourself comfortable. I have to go back and keep an eye on the the tree line, but you uh, you don't look so good. It came out of nowhere. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm just... Okay. Just, like, no, don't worry about us. Away. Thank you very much. We seem and to have dealt with whatever it was. I wouldn't be too concerned. Arthur all that's kind of going and looks for someone that can give him some arrows. And everyone looks like they're just working. Uh, what exactly are you looking <laughs> for? Arrows, exactly. Oh, you did not lose- those arrows used during the punishment fight, they were not used. You still have them. Ah, excellent. Oh. What about spells? Like spell like slots. One spell arrow. slots were used. Curses. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, absolutely. That's why I was throwing away level one spell slots. <laughs> Gerald, like you the memory's definitely... fading, but Gerald feels like he's still mad about something. He doesn't know what now. Mm, yeah, Daskus is feeling very mad. He doesn't know why, and he's just like, he would be more excited about all the frost giants everywhere, but he's just sitting there, just like. It's going on just like trying to calm himself, but there's still that like lingering anger. Yeah. Nana's just kind of confused where the nosebleed came from, but is like somehow is sort of just content. Uh, <laughs> there's a contentedness <laughs> to her at the moment. Nana does, for I will say, uh, those of you who have a decent passive insight, uh, yeah. Nana, Nana looks. A little, a little less wrinkly. Oh yeah. Mm. Mine's only ten for passive insight. I mean, <laughs> okay. well, stuff you, okay. I guess. Yeah. Passive insight. Um, I look like the same old man. Insight by passive perception. W what would sixteen allow me to see? Is it passive insight sixteen? Yeah. Yeah, it, Nana definitely looks less wrinkly, and maybe has she's a... been stealing some of your oils. Ooh. Yeah, it really immediately Ooh. checks his bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your oil still in there, untouched. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, uh, it's like... Uh, and Arthur, what was Arthur looking for? You're looking around for... I mean, do a perception check. 18. Uh, there does seem to actually be... Uh, by the back, if you go to the other side of this L-shaped wall, there seems to be, like, um... How do I put this? Like, a thin barrel that does have arrows in it. Uh, Arthur takes all the arrows, um... And kind of walks away from and it like you do, so, someone, hey, 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 hey! 
What are you doing? <laughs> God damn it. Immediately <laughs> makes enemies. Oh, let's kind of sort of guys like these are my arrows. <sighs> no, they're not. And you watch as a a, a human, kind of youngish, maybe early twenties, sort of like puts an axe down, and you see others stop working, looking at you. And just and he just says, "Just put them back." So you said as a he. Uh, Arthur Orblet hits on him. How do you hit on this person? You can't Says, say that you hit on them. Uh, Arthur <laughs> Orblet sort of goes, those muscles are more than what I thought I would expect. <laughs> you underestimating his power? Roll oh a persuasion God. check. <laughs> Who's oh this supposed to work on? Perception. Uh, I'll give persuasion, sorry. Oh my god. Oh, yikes. <laughs> and you see, this person just looks at you, and and th the person is wearing, like, full heavy winter clothes, like you, just <laughs> looks, at, looks at himself and says, Just... Just don't. We saw you came with you, and I just... Just... Please, don't cause any trouble. It, you uh. wouldn't, it, it wouldn't end well, and you can see now, like, even the giants are like, Eyeing over towards you. <laughs> Arthur Orbitz walks away. But you left the arrows, or did you take them? I left the arrows. <laughs> it, it, it just <sighs> turns back to work and they mumble a little bit and then starts hacking away at this tree again. Oh my god. And I'm guessing you joined us again, and Nana was like, Where did you go off to? And I kind of rebuff it as in, like, a nowhere nana. Uh, absolutely nowhere indeed. Oh, okay, it's all right. When nature calls, you know, we all need to be alone. Assuming That's you went for a exactly right. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. Mm -hmm. And you spend a few hours here. You, it's, it's still, it's nearing noon by this time. You rest. Anyone who wants to can mark a short rest. Cool. Uh, yeah. I absolutely. You sit around. You hang around. Is does anybody offer to help out, or do you just wanna rest um, and relax? I'm gonna use one hit dice, by the way. Uh, Dice Goose will take a short rest. Yeah. Yep. Um, like he needs it. Um, uh, oh. Sorry. Cool. No, Six. I was gonna say, does like they're not really doing anything in the fire kitchen area too much it's a fire going but there and it does have like a, a wooden tripod but no cauldron no stove so you could probably just whip up um, your cauldron well no. nana's gonna ask if uh if they need a meal prepared or anything because it's getting around lunchtime uh and one of them actually like as you ask around sort of and uh, there is one you, who turns around and you can see this person was also wearing like thick cloaks uh, with brown fur to it. Turns around and you see this dark green face and this one tusk sticking out. Just yeah, that'd be great actually. We got um, if you look just around points and there's this big sort of like um, wooden crate. There's actually some food in there, but if you want to go ahead and cook it, that would be great. We could keep working. Uh could probably get one more log fixed. That's always worth it. Thank you. Oh, no worries, dear. And she just, she's gonna go and cook. Other old Yeah, and you open and you, and do, you do find help. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of like root vegetables, some dried meats, fish. Nice. Mm -hmm. Gonna make them a little, you know what? Gonna make them a big old hearty stew because they look like they could use it working out in the cold. Yeah, Sorry, you start or cooking. Yeah. I thought Orbit just wants to help with the, the food for once. He oh, never all right, done. He never has helped with the food, so he sort of is sort of Nana's assistant. This is a teaching moment, Arthur. It's mm -hmm. all good. <laughs> and as you do, every now and then, these and all of these workers, they they sort of they seem to take some sort of shifts. They seem to be coming up after you finished cooking. Two and two, they come over, and they have their own bowls hanging on their belts. They sort of unhook from their belts. They take a scoop, 
from from your cauldron. And they sit down and they very quickly eat, drink, they just get it down their gullets, they snap the the bowl back, clean cleaned off with some snow and some uh, some pine that they find to sort of just rub it a little bit clean. And then they just get back to work and a few hours pass and then Jonah comes back, followed by the big muscly frost giant who is completely topless just walks up and Jonah says well it's time to leave now um if you follow uh Mateus, uh, he will uh, show you you can ride with the rest I I do belong to the to the perimeter guard I would be staying here uh but if you just follow the I've talked to Mateus. uh they will take you to Bura it, it will be fine it will be good just follow and just yeah. sort of like claps Matthews on the forearm, like reaches up high. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very and... much. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Jonas, for your your hospitality. I really do appreciate it. Even if we we did have a bit of a moment there, I'm not sure what went what what went on earlier. Um, and then and yeah, just thank you, thank you for looking out for us. Appreciate it. Yes, th thank you very much for your hospitality. Thank you. I hope we will see you again. As she's shoving I the cauldron so back too. into the bag. <laughs> I, um, okay. And turns around. And then uh, Matthias, standing with crossed arms, says, Well, uh, we're gonna start hauling all the logs uh, to the edge of the forest to the north, and uh, you can tag along. It will take you as far as the city limits, but You'll have to go around to the north as you are newcomers, but you'll you'll see when we get there. I'll see that you get to the proper place. Well, but thank uh, you. If you just tag along for now, uh, and so it looks a little bit awkward, like looking around, scratches <laughs> his arm, his shoulder, and then uh, yep, <sighs> starts walking. <laughs> we'll, we'll do our best to not get in your way. We'll you, you'll never know we're here. Yeah, and you see they all start uh, ferrying sort of like all of the logs, all of the twigs, branches, everything that's been cleared off is being moved. And you follow a path that has been cleared previously. And it snakes a little bit, it takes about 15, 20 minutes, and then you reach the edge of the forest. And you still now, you can see you are at the very foot of the mountain. Like, at the very foot of it, and it reaches high, it pierces the sky. And there is a big, uh, two, three carts, big carts, very long. They open back, they start putting the logs on, and with ropes, they're tying it off. And you can see, just a little bit off, uh, someone is now bringing over what looks to be three mammoths. Ooh. Mammoth and is walking them towards, and as they come closer, they start hooking the mammoths up to these giants. At first they look like carts, but they don't have wheels, they instead they have just reins. It looks like they're sleds, massive sleds. And two of them are filled with logs that stick out almost twice the length of the actual cart. And the third one is just filled with all manners of branches and debris that they have found mm. and they've cleared off and uh the orc again with the one tusk walks up to the group of you all and says well uh, you could uh, ride on top of the the pine branches if you like or you could walk what about riding on the mammoth <laughs> uh, not recommended as they are working laboring beasts uh, we don't want them distracted uh, and you can see that every mammoth has one person holding a rope that goes like up to its tusk nice well I must say it's very nice to see one up close that's not trying to kill us uh, pardon me we never caught your name at lunchtime My name, they just called me Tusk because I just have the one Tusk, but uh, my actual name is George. 
Very nice to meet you. And what do you prefer, George or Tusk? I'm good either way. You know, I don't have any issues with my ancestry. Well, I'm Melivora, but you can call me Nana. Well, good to meet you, Nana. Now, do you want to ride on those pine branches? Or do you want to walk? Um... <clears throat> I don't know what you guys are doing. What are you doing? What is everyone doing? Are we uh, going to walk? Look, Nana, it's okay. If you if you want to go ride in the back of the wagon, you can absolutely go ride in the back of the wagon. Oh, I kind of want to walk by the mammoth. They're pretty but, cool. But but George just said that we can't distract the working beast. I won't beast. touch it. <laughs> nah. I just want to look. <laughs> <laughs> That is going to walk. Okay. Yeah, and as as you're having this argument, the uh, actual sleds start moving, and you can see everyone is starting to walk, and there's All right. a fair pack of people now moving as the sun is starting to set. I'd like to ask George and... a quick question. Um, <clears throat> do you ever have mammoths go missing, George? I don't care for the mammoths, but I don't... Sure, they could. I mean, depends. We lose mammoths every now and then to bigger predators. Mm -hmm. And some wander off too far and get into trouble. Bigger than mammoths. Where has, has that happened uh, at all recently? When was the last Not time? that I know. Hmm. Why? I don't know all the mammoths. I know oh, these that we work with. Uh, fair they, enough. We haven't seen, had to uh, switch out a mammoth since uh, poor old Greybeard <sighs> passed away. Oh, that was a beast. My condolences. How long ago was that? Uh, two years ago. Oh, I see. And, uh... Uh, no. Do you tend to um, do you tend to bury your beasts in this area or do you sort of just leave them to the ice well if they do go missing or disappear usually it's taken care of by nature but if one mm. dies of natural causes in our care we make sure to uh, make use of what we can ah uh, did gray this gray beard was this a natural death and you made use of uh, of it or did it go missing yes Yes, I, I do actually have, I do actually, I asked nicely, the boss man gave me, uh, I got a, a little bit of a scrimshaw from a piece of its uh, tusk. Oh, lovely. Well. It's very nice, actually. It, uh, it's sort of like a landscape thing. I had it commissioned. It looks very nice. Oh, uh, you'll have to show it to me sometime. Um, thank, thank you, George. As you keep moving, you make small talk. About an hour or so later, moving through, it's now dark around you. There, you can see now they've hung up lanterns on the sleds, but most people that work here seem to be unimpeded by the dark. You keep moving. Uh, I've cast light, um, just on 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 um, on Duskus's axe again. Because it's just a nice big yeah. target. And as you do, there are like two or three people who kind of from this group of workers that get a little bit closer. <laughs> and you'd be safe <laughs> to assume that these are the people who do not see in the dark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine not seeing in the dark. Weird. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know how that feels like, wow. but. Wow. Yeah, wow. I wonder. Wow. wow. Imagine but not being able to cast you... light. Mm -hmm. uh, very happy and then that. Nana's <laughs> gonna use her fucking conjure fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, then Rudy conjures spiritual flame. Yeah. Askus is gonna leave. <laughs> Daskus, can I come with you? <laughs> as they're all having this little bickering, uh, Matthias sort of backs up towards all of you and says, You should all uh, move up to the front. I I think you'll like it. Okay. okay. And then it's just like, right. as you walk past, you flames. move forward. 
And he then turns and says, um, would you mind putting that out? <laughs> the, uh, the axe. Oh, oh, the axe! Oh, oh no! Axe. Oh. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. And, and Rudy, he, and, because he can't click his fingers, he, he's sort of like, and it turns off. <laughs> and it takes a moment for your eyes to adjust, but you then see ahead of you, coming towards you, just this shimmering of light, just this refraction of light on the horizon. As coming towards you, you see a massive wall of ice, and beyond it, a castle built out of ice, and there are lights all over in all colors, refracting through and across to just see this glittering city coming closer. And Matthias turns down and says, Welcome to Dora. And that's where we'll pick up next week. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we almost made it to Bora. Yay, we did make it to Bora. We made it. Only we, we did it. it. Hacked by a certain panther. You know what? <laughs> I'd do it again. Too. I was fine. Yeah. I'd do it again. Just A-OK. -okay. <laughs> and I'd do it again, too. <laughs> uh, the does not approve of this message. <laughs> like how the person with the least amount of puns actually got punished yeah. <laughs> yeah i got the most punished i know it how terrible funny. i thought yeah. it was just gonna be me i legit thought i was like oh there goes nana like she yeah. would have wanted to go that way though so it's okay <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was arthur instead so that's yeah. so funny my condolences, arthur. that's so funny i i will not condole you i regret nothing <laughs> i regret nothing as well he will help the punishment panther every time i love this buff the shit out of it do it rudy no do it Rudy, Rudy yeah. yes. Rudy no. Rudy, yes. Aussie no. <laughs> Bad Aussie. Maybe. Bad Aussie. Aussie, uh, Aussie maybe. <laughs> Aussie no. Aussie, <laughs> I am putting my foot down. Aussie no. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't have my wow. sandal here, damn it. <laughs> I will say that you all get one thousand seven hundred and eighty experience points. Yeah, thank you. Got it. One seven eight zero. Seven, cool. eight, six, six. Yeah. For the encounter with the Punishment Panther and for finally getting to the city limits of Bora. Yay! So 12,280 is what I have. Mm -hmm. Same. Sorry, 12. <laughs> sorry, what was that? Uh, 12,280. 12, yeah. 12,280. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I should be up to. How do Thanks, we God. feel? My cheeks hurt. So crap. The, the puns so were fantastic. I loved uh, it. It was great. Arthur's feeling a little bit sad. <laughs> but he doesn't know why. It's just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. No really memory. No memory. It's okay, Arthur. I... We all get sad sometimes. Oh. I will say, though, that there has... Daskus is very concerned that he got mad for no reason. <laughs> he, it's actually very worrying him. I don't think Nana's too concerned about the nosebleed. I feel like she just, you know, like Josie would know, in the cold weather, sometimes you just get nosebleeds. Like, yeah. it happens. Well, She's just it like, ah! Happened to me. <laughs> well, it doesn't happen to you? Oh my no, god. I've had, uh, I have my, uh, my nose capillaries. Uh, oh. Ah. I was going to say, it happens to me all the time. So well, I can relate, to, but not mm. anymore. That's really that's fantastic, and I love that for you, Josie. It is great. I Sounds haven't like had jealousy. Bleed in two years. Nice. I am jealous, actually. <laughs> I am so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. But I do love it. Yeah, I, I would get. I I got them all the time, and then my doctor say, "Let's fix that," and I haven't had one since. Honestly, what a good doctor! Like, let's not. You know, treat it. Let's just pre just deal stop with it. it. Yeah, yep. just deal with the problem. That's good. Love that. Resolved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just I'll imagine be... having a nose like mine, which is <laughs> gigantic. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure, sure. I'm pretty sure mine's bigger. I'm pretty sure I have a bigger nose. Are we gonna have a whose nose we'll is bigger? Nose 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 Who knows? Yeah. When when <laughs> all of Aussie get together, we will have a nose off. 
I, I can't do it. I have a tiny nose. I got a big one. I have a tiny nose Let's and tiny ears. Thank you all for coming here to play. Let's do a quick Thank you for hosting. Before we, we sign off, I've mm. been Josie Poser. I stream D&D stuff on Sundays and Sundays. Saturdays, Saturdays and Sundays. Sometimes I do cheeky midweek streams, but they're kind of mm -hmm. rare. And uh, next to me, on my screen at least, we got Orb right here. Well, next to me, I have Ozzy Defro. So if you like this guy next to me, you like me. If you like I him, you him. like me. We <laughs> both stream uh, <laughs> majority of the nights of the week. We stream most most of the week. We stream anything that we feel like streaming. What's this week is this? <laughs> I, I can't. It. I, I like whatever <laughs> I want to stream. Oh um, at the moment, it's Dark Souls. So if you like Dark Souls, come see me. If not, go to him. <laughs> well, that's awkward because I'm Ozzy Devro <laughs> and I'm about to start restreaming Dark Souls three. Um, so. <laughs> Actually, we are kind of similar. Um, except I'm doing a chat versus streamer edition where there will be an expansion where you guys can F with my playthrough. Um, but yeah, I was a dev bro. I'm live five nights a week. Dark Souls 3, Stardew Valley, and D&D &D at the moment. Um, come join in. It'll be fun. How about participation award? Oh, yeah. How about participation award? That's me, by the way. I'm Roju. <laughs> this is my channel, participation award. Um... If you're not already familiar with me, I'm on here two to three nights a week, um, playing a variety of games. I'm just I'm kind of obsessed with Valheim at the moment, so that's kind of a, what's happening still every Thursday. Um, and uh, here on D and D Sundays, of course. Um, if so, but apart from that, it's usually just variety. Uh, so I'm just playing whatever I'm loving at the time for however long I'm loving it for. So yeah, come say hi sometime. Uh, yes, I am Venomation. Uh, at the moment, I am only doing the D&D &D streams every week as I'm sorting out some IRL stuff, but hopefully I shall be able to get back to doing some single-player campaigns um, or single-player games. <laughs> There'll be some new art stuff coming out, which I'm very excited for, some art projects. Um, but hopefully, yeah, I'll be jumping into maybe some Okami very soon. Mm. Ooh, that's a good one. It it's my one. favorite game. It's the game that got me into doing game art design. So, so it's very special to my heart. Yes, oh, yeah. game art time. design. I need to cuddly. hit you up with something, Denny. Ooh. Yes. And cuddly. lastly, the cuddly raptor. Mm. To me. I'm this way though, Denny. I'm I'm up. Oh, for you. For you're, me, you're, you're, you're this way. way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. down below, okay, I'm far down. Below, and then cuddly's right there. Look, chats, <laughs> just don't question it, all right? It works. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm Cuddly Raptor. I'm a variety streamer. Um, oh boy. I mean, I'm usually a variety streamer at the moment. I'm kind of not, but hopefully streams will be coming back soon. Work has just been really busy lately. And as you can tell, I'm sick. So that hasn't really helped. Fully sick. So, fully sick. <laughs> um, fully sick I'm down with the sickness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and that is me. I play games poorly and lots of them. Excellent. And last thing I will say, if anyone's been lurking in my chat, don't hesitate to put points towards the community challenge to give all of these fine people some uh, fancy new items to use in d, &D that's always fun. Ooh. I so always far, want we've... to interrupt with uh, our DM, which is amazing and spends a lot of time on organizing all of this. Mm. So can we just have our hands together? Obviously, celebrate. Uh, a lovely DM. Josie Poser. My hands are together. Now what? <laughs> yeah, what's the next step? Virtually <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pull apart and then do it again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Orb. Yeah, I'm having a great time playing this game, and I don't know, is today session 13, I think? Um, oh, 14. I, it's been 14. Mm -hmm. I, I had 14, session. but it could be 13. Wow. It's, it's 14. Hey. That's pretty. That's pretty crazy, actually. It's pretty playing good. For, uh, playing mm. for a while now. Yeah. Yeah. I look forward to see where we go in the future. But almost, I am almost going a suspiciously, like a suspiciously decent amount of time for some kind of boss encounter, like a, 
like I don't know. I, I just get this feeling where we're coming Hot, to this, shut up, Ozzy, some yeah, form of. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? We already had one. It's called the punishment. Table. Yeah, no, that was the that boss, was and you buffed segue. it. Still mad about that. that. <laughs> nah, nah. Look, that's like look. the optional boss. Look, I'm just. I'm all I'm gonna say is with the punishment panther. Actually, it is I got no beef with the beast. Right? Like, I. Yeah. That's. that's I fine. do have. It's, it's gonna be your health points that'll be drained. Look, I <laughs> had no cards. beef with it, but I had the most beef with it, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, now you've got a revenge. You've got a re revenge, revenge arc. arc. There you go. Yeah. Just gotta, you gotta put them in your <laughs> right. way there. I'll help you. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, we, we got you. There will be. Naruto and Sasuke all over again. There will be more Punishment yeah, Panther baby. if me and Cuddly have anything to say about it. Well, Speaking of just, which, will yeah. Josie be continuing after this? No, I'm taking a break to eat, and then my uh, IRL Lovely. Pathfinder group is coming to get oh. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, I'll have fun with that. Have fun with that. Well, if anybody That's else has any fun. suggestions for a, a raid train, now well, is the time. Yes, raid train. I, Say goodbye. I don't think oh, so. Oh, yeah. I don't... Bye, Cuddly! Bye, Cuddly! See you, Cuddly! I almost forgot. I legit almost asked Josie. I was like, are you streaming? And then I was like, <laughs> where, where, where? <laughs> <Does it matter? laughs> <laughs> I'm not <back. laughs> Get plenty of sleep! Mm. Yeah. I will get better. Bye! Bye, Cuddly! I do not Bye. have any good options for whom to stream. Hmm, uh, Ozzy, do you have anyone? Uh, Arlena, we I think we raided Arlena last week. Hmm. Um, yeah. We did. Um, I don't have my phone on me, so I can't actually see. It yeah, no, so I've so I've only I got know. Arlena on as well. Hmm. All right, let me have a look. I've got um, game now one. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I just got Arlena. Let's do Arlena again. <laughs> Well, I've got Creepy Mysteries uh, doing Scum. I've got uh, mm. Shyness doing Outlast. Uh, Let's throw more live at, love at Arleno. What? How did you spell that again? I can't recall. A R L E W N O. Sounds good. He's doing some Diablo three, which is pretty cool. So oh, we, I always love that's some very Diablo. RPG. Yet. Mm. It is an yeah. RPG. It is an RPG. I mean, it's an AR it RPG, RPG, but it's still got those three letters in it. Mm -hmm. How do you spell that again? Sorry. Oh, A R L E double N O. Yes. Did I do it right? Is it working? <laughs> it's working. Yes, yes, Here we yes. go. Everybody ready? Yes. Thank you all for Everyone coming by. Get ready. Us play. It's been great. Yes. Hope we'll you have a again. lovely night. And if you're heading off, well. just at least hang out for the raid because you do get channel mm -hmm. points for whoever's mm -hmm. stream you are hanging out in. So if you want some mm -hmm. extra goodies, then hang out at least for that and you can. Do whatever. Yes. That's it. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Catch you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Eight. Pew. Pew.